All right, day three. Let's go. All their private parts. So we gotta save Delgado. Maybe, maybe this guy is a companion. Who knows? <clears throat> I certainly don't. But I definitely wanna have uh, four companions. Oh, it, it was totally set up for a fight. All right. Uh, did I just uh, sign up to be on board with the bad boys? I mean, I, I don't, I don't necessarily consider these guys uh, just straight up criminals. Oh crap! At least in this world, like, come on. Uh, sure, <clears throat> and locker. What? Oh, fuck. That's my dead why? Why am I dead? Is it because I wanted to loot the ammo box? I mean, <clears throat> the thing is, he didn't say anything to me because uh, we were listening to the cass cassette. And uh, I guess he would have said that fuck off, don't don't touch my ammo box. But he didn't say that, and now I'm like, oh, okay. And the first word he said to me was, "You're dead." All right, mate. I guess he's not really uh, actively looking for friends. <laughs> uh, that is pretty much a given there. <clears throat> Okay, then I suppose we're gonna be a blip, a little bit more careful. Liquor, sure. Big red. Hey, some to receive. <clears throat> Hell to you too. <laughs> I straight up got attacked here, so we gotta be damn careful. I was listening to the dumb cassette, and uh. I was trying to just loot everything they got, and uh, <clears throat> they didn't like that. So I suppose I've got to be a bit more careful. Maybe I should wait. Before we get close to this uh, nightclub uh, pit boss guy. Also got big red. Is that enough? Can, can you really call yourself big red just because you wear a, a red t-shirt plus red pants? Don't know about that. So what about this guy? Will he attack me? Smell that? Hands off the oh, okay. He didn't say that to me before. But, yeah. <clears throat> sure. We can't loot that. Oh, look at that. Inspector Delgado. <sighs> Alright. Oh, what? Alright, let's take all of that. And I suppose we can use the computer. Just to bust him out. Oh, can we loot? This tiny room. Oh, lockpicking 5. Alright. So lockpicking 5 is uh, definitely uh, coming in handy. Frag. 5 armor is pretty damn good. Oh, crap. We need six lockpicking? Jesus Christ. Alright, let's see what we have. Dagado, you're a free man. This uh, clean cut marshal looks like he's in his mid 30s. His honest, open face gives him the appearance of a man in his prime. in the prime of life. Wow, he's, he's looking good for a prisoner. <clears throat> Alright. Hey, Delgado. Bet you thought Daisy forgot all about you. Quan. I figured anyone coming for me would have to shoot their way in. How'd you get past Brigo's crew? If we found out McTavish was working with Dorsey's and we got a deal with Brigo. 
Don't worry about it. You're walking out of here a free man. I think that that would interest him more. Don't think I'm ungrateful. I'm not. Just, I know this crowd. And I'm surprised as hell I'm not smelling gunpowder. Well, I, this guy must have, uh, I don't know, slept through the whole ordeal of me shooting down like 20 cops. Like five minutes ago. How did you get captured? Hmm. I've been keeping an eye on Brigo for a while. He's a survivor. Likes to play both sides to make sure he always wins. After the Dorsey raid, I started asking questions about the club. <gasps> Damn, look at look at this bad boy. He he wrote fuck Brigo and suck shit on the wall. Damn. Well, I guess I got too close to the truth. They grabbed me, dragged me in here and locked the door. Took my weapon and everything. Good thing you came along. At least you had a bucket. Did they hurt you? No, they know better than to hurt a marshal. Though, after all this, I'm starting to think maybe I should have known better. And don't tell my wife I said that. They know better than to hurt a marshal? Really? Uh, okay. Again, I have to remind... Uh, maybe I, I should remind him of the time that, uh, you know, five minutes ago, a bunch of uh, cops got gone down. Well, what are you going to pay me to keep quiet? What? <laughs> Quan, always the kidder. Um, you are kidding, right? <laughs> Don't worry, Delgado. Your secrets are safe with me. All right, get the hell out of here. Right. Thanks again. Fuck Brigo, right? Oh crap! Uncomfortable chair. Must have been some haircut. <laughs> what? What about the computer? Oh, we can use that. Oh, okay. What? Sure, but we still need lock picking to get the save, right? So in the case. <clears throat> Damn. So my lock picking needs to be high. Uh that's for sure. Also I'm kinda considering. I'm, I'm I might yeah, I, I take some input on that one. Just making slightly different custom characters because it's it's okay kind of now but you know once we get another uh, uh special companion i don't know when that's going to happen but when we when it happens uh then we most likely have a bunch of useless skills so we gotta go back to daisy okay Meet Rosie Wong at the Sans Lux Apartments in downtown Colorado Springs. <clears throat> Alright, let's go. I kind of wish that the game gave me some option to respec instead of just like, you know, replacing my guys. I don't know. <laughs> it, just, it just becomes really hard to justify having the same guys. I don't know. Maybe actually I can only hire level 3 guys uh, back at home. I, I suppose I should look into it. But do I just keep changing my, my stats? <laughs> and like, oh, I guess I wasted 20 points uh, so far. Let's just start putting uh, points into, I don't know, like... Let's go, level 3 pickpockets. <clears throat> we gotta go back to the cops. How am I gonna spin this? Because we killed like 20 cops. Like, okay, maybe maybe like it was more like 10. But like, that was still a lot of cops. Oh, I just figured it out. Team November. Come in. Uh, November coming in. some refugees squatting in the barracks. Uh, they're refusing to leave and want to speak to whoever's in charge. Which would be you. Oh, that's great! That means they already joined up. 
That, that's kind of how it works, you know? That's my warehouse. And anyone who is in my warehouse is already the arranger. We could always use some warm bodies. To... <laughs> to use this cannon fodder. At, at very least. Well, who knows? Maybe really good. Can you come back and sort this out when you have a chance? Getting a little tense here. Alright. So, okay, that, that slides in. Roger that. Heading back ASAP. Thank you, Team November. See you soon, then. Ranger HQ, out. Actually, uh, the guy... Hmm. Should it be ASAP? Because, uh... Pff, okay, that was, like, one guy. Oh, crap. Where the hell am I going? I got turned around. Uh, there was one guy who, uh, wanted me to save him. And I was like, oh, I'll get to you. And then he got killed. So, maybe it is time sensitive. So, let's just do that. Even if it's not time sensitive, we can just pretend it's time sensitive. Fuck off, paper boy. Corpse. Alright. Let's go back to base. Uh -uh. Yeah, here we go. Angelo Death is assigned by General Vargas to lead the Ranger advance team into Colorado. What a fucking name. <clears throat> so apparently this was some kind of a uh, air base. Um, I, I see no signs of that right now, but I, I guess we don't see the airfield. Which is basically just a field with a road on it. <laughs> I mean, I suppose in uh, the post-apocalyptic times, uh, any kind of road can be an airfield. You know. Oh, what? Now that you got a full squad, you might want to kick someone out <laughs> to make room for flesh blood. Talk to Sergeant Gretzky to manage your squad and recruit new rangers. Wow, this is great. <laughs> I can't wait to kick people out. But I suppose we can just RP and pretend. I su I do have a preference for like, you know, people staying in the squad. Especially if they're companions and, you know, they have their own, uh... Private Bednar? I hear they got everything money. Really? Uh, yeah. I, I, I checked out the, the Market Square. Hope you catch that victory kid soon. Before he hurts somebody. Not a problem. Let's see who we have. Oh, I, I think... Private Duncan? Fuck yeah. Oh, fuck, what? Oh, that's... Is that... Oh, crap, they use ammo. Oh, okay. You know, I do like the, the car. Because this is what we had in Fallout Tactics. Even though this game is uh, still turn-based. I don't know. Do you guys have a preference for turn-based versus uh, real-time with pause? I actually prefer real-time with pause. Unless... Uh, the, the strategy is just very... Uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> very deep. I just I just say that. But not, not complicated, because complicated is just stupid. It needs to be uh, meaningful. If I can make meaningful decisions in a turn-based game, then I like it. But I still have a preference for... Uh, uh, real time with pause. It it just takes less time. Uh, turn based games can uh, can take just a crazy amount of time. I suppose the worst example of that was uh, King's Bounty, a game that I I like, but I I just ended up fighting sometimes at like for over half an hour, or sometimes like yeah I I left that game when I when one fight took over one hour. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing here? You unlock the med bay. Here you can shop for medical supplies. You can also speak to the doctor to get free health care, including restoring any incap cap incapacitated squad members. All right. Hey, Doc. Amber. Amber. Hey, hey. Who are you? Both are fine, I guess. It's cool to actually have the possibility to choose between those. Hmm. Yeah. 
Uh, you you can actually play uh, Pathfinder Kingmaker on uh, on real turn based as well, and some some games have uh, both. Like uh, Fallout Tactics have both. I preferred real time uh, with pause there. Yeah, finish Kingmaker. I also played Kingmaker and almost finished it, but before they added turn based. Mm. I, I couldn't finish Kingmaker because it broke for me. I played Kingmaker once and I kind of quit around 10 minute, uh, ten hours in. Then I played it again. I kind of recorded the whole thing. And, you know, when the end came and I went to the portal, the game was broken. And I couldn't even uh, proceed. That was really sad. I, I spent like, you know, hours trying to fix that, but I couldn't. So I, I got really sad, even though I, that was that was really great. <sighs> that was disappointing. I like to believe that my character... In my mind, my character just straight up went into the portal alone as sacrifice for the Dryad. Because that uh, fulfills the promise, or the apology, the apology. And, I don't know, my empire is, is, uh, is fine. <laughs> but I, I couldn't really... I don't know, it was broken. It, it just didn't work. It was so stupid. And I just played with the late, latest version and it was still broken. I'm so sad. There are a lot of bugs at the start. <laughs> but, but it still got me at the very end. Fuck. Ah. Alright. Alright, Doc. I'm just gonna take your stuff. Actually, my stuff, right? Everything is here. Uh, is mine here. Uh, don't worry about the slavers in the basement. I'll open the door eventually. Hey, Doc! Hey, Rangers. I'm here at last. Sorry, bad wording there. It's okay. Uh, it had a lot more bugs when the game I released. I'll be able to make an actual surgery out of this place. Just need to call in a few favors for equipment and supplies. That's a great game. It's definitely uh, uh, something I would recommend. But because of the bugs, and at times the, the combat just takes way too long. I just had uh, special rules for myself uh, when I was playing that game. <laughs> if you right. need treatment now, well, I think I'm ready for that. What do you need? Uh, uh, how's that patient of yours? Fine. Everything is fine. That's great. Get, get her out of the bed. For now. Oh, fuck. Uh, let's bandage our, our butts, Doc. I'll do what I can. That's great. Have a seat. Okay. Healed. Do you have any medical supplies you could sell us? Ooh. I brought a few things some, over some discount. Garage. Not much yet. Okay. I, I don't know if you gotta buy that right now. Okay. But it's nice to have the the option. But besides that, I, I like the game a lot. I didn't like that I couldn't explore the whole map. Mm. For me, in Pathfinder Kingmaker, the most memorable part of the game was the... Incosexual debates. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. But we can't pick that door. I fucking love that. <laughs> I don't know. That was hilarious. Bite my tentacles. Excuse me. Are what the hell is this? <laughs> the wound is gone. Her clothes ragged. She is surrounded by a group of bedraggled vagrants who watch you with fear and mistrust. Fear and mistrust? I mean, you just showed up in my warehouse. I guess they kind of cleaned up the snow a little bit. Who are you? I'm Del Hackett, and I, well, I, I speak for these people. We've been living here for months, and. We've got nowhere to go. Please, will you let us stay? Wait, so I just moved into someone else's house, and now that person, the group of people, are asking me for permission to stay in their own house. Even though I like, I suppose, like, I'm, I'm kind of a ranger, I, I'm some kind of an authority, but like, yes, this is great! Fuck yeah! Hell yeah! So, this is great. I, I do need something. Wow. 
I do need you, all of you, to become rangers. Bad idea. I've been in their shoes, but this is a military base. If we have squatters everywhere, it'll be hard to keep discipline. Your recruits won't like it either. The yep. Patriarch's people don't care about people like us. But you're not beholden to them. He did make a good point. Alright, where are you from? We all farmed in the border country between Colorado and the Plains. Thought we were safe out there. Under the Patriarch's protection. Back then, the gangs feared the Patriarch. <laughs> not anymore. They burned our greenhouses and killed everyone who tried to fight them. No place left to run but here. For any of us. Yeah, but we will, we will give you protection. Previously you were... Although you had this place, but you didn't have protection. And even though you have... Right now you have no leverage. I could just send you away. They have no guns. They have no training. So I, 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 I feel like there's a trait here. Did you set up the security system? Not intentionally. What? The Patriarch's people drove up to the base a few days ago. So we hid in here for a while. Then when Andy went to check if they left, all the doors slammed shut and the alarms started whooping. Don't know what happened. Been living in these ruins for weeks and I never set anything off before. Can you go live in the city? We're not welcome there. They already have too many mouths to feed. And more are always coming. Wait. So, I will have to feed you guys? How the hell you guys were living here? I mean, they were definitely getting some supplies, right? You can stay. Your call won't make the volunteers happy, but the Patriarch put you in charge, not them. I like that, you know? Quan is like, offers his opinion, but then super happy that I just completely ignore him. You said yes. Uh well, I was sure you wouldn't. Oh, this is gonna be a yes, but... We won't be any trouble, I promise, and, and we'll help out wherever we can. <sighs> Thank you for giving us a chance. They, they will join up. Hear that, everyone? We gotta make ourselves useful around here. Alright. Private care. Hi, I'm Austin. These private jokes. Lost in peace. Hello, Rangers. Uh, um, permission to speak? You already spoke. Permission granted. I just wanted to say thank you again for saving my life. If you hadn't talked to Judge Watkins, well, I, I wouldn't be here. And and I'm really happy to be here. Yeah. I guess that's all I wanted to say. Oh, and uh, Mom thanks you too. Is your mom here? Oh, okay. I don't know why we have the gas heaters outside. We should bring that inside. What? Shut the fuck up, private. I'm running this place. Jesus Christ. Okay. So these people cannot... Ever wonder how all those refugees are getting into Colorado? The marshals run a pretty tight ship. So the game kind of encourages me to remake my companions or just make new companions okay i guess that's the main chamber oh okay we cleaned out the snow from the doorway so now we can explore this area as well what the fuck is this well the thing is i can i can uh, up my toaster repair <laughs> i don't know i just i just don't like it when I play characters in uh, RPGs, I always make them super skilled. If I have a choice, I, I just make them super intelligent because I just don't. I just don't like not being able to open doors, uh, hack computers, just do anything. Unless it's like sneaking, maybe. Maybe I'm not into sneaking. What? Customizing appearance? I don't care about that. Oh, actually, I might care about Magus that. people are nice enough, but they're really underfoot. Can I make a new care? Oh, I don't know. Is, is there a point in customizing uh, appearance? Currently, I, I don't really care. But maybe. Maybe in the future. Because I have a problem here, for example. These two guys look the same, if not for the helmet. I can barely hear that. Just 
just want to see her again. Seems like people are not having the best time. In the apocalypse. Oh, okay. What it what is that? Mushrooms? Oh, it's mushrooms. Oh, we got the Brigmaster key. Also, we got the dogs. Um Hoop Emerson? Oh! I can pick lock <laughs> her table. Wait. Are there skills we can learn? I found a book. Ooh. What? Okay. But how does this work? Because when you level up a skill, the the next levels cost more uh, skill points. So so for example, we use the sneaky shit or Marshall Quan here. Then the next level would cost us two points. But let's just say I leveled up a Marshall Quan's sneaky shit by two. I'm just kind of curious if using it earlier, that book, I suppose that gives us uh, the the bonus earlier, but it might eventually just make it more expensive to max it out. For example, if you use that level uh, nine instead of uh, level eight, then uh, yeah, we would get uh, one extra point out of it because this is like uh, 14 to 19. This is 19 to 25. So this is uh, 5 points to level up. This is 6 points to level up. That is something worth looking into. Also, I don't really want to put it on uh, any uh, custom characters. I want to put it on uh, companions. Who are most likely going to stay uh, in the squad. But this is, I suppose, an extra uh, reason to maybe not kick out, guys. Check the recent activity logs uh, for this terminal. Uh, I don't want to read logs. Alright. Okay, so we got a bunch of guys here. Yeah. So what are we going to do with the... They got to be rangers too, right? Let's make everyone ranger. What have I done? You're a worm, Isaac. I should have killed you. Jesus Christ. Oh, you always have the chance, you know? If you ever feel like, you know, in a bad mood, you can just come and kill Isaac. And Isaac, you will have something to look forward to. If you feel like uh, being a prisoner is just too bad, then you can always just fear getting murdered. The fuck is this? Oh, the... 7A. The museum, right? Okay. Is this really uh, a sure? important part of the base? Good. Okay. I guess we have room for that. Oh. Let's pick lock the table. What? It's just junk. What if we had animatronic displays, like in the Patriarch's Museum in downtown? Isn't that how you get, um, what? robots? Robots are autonomous. Slot and machine? Robot just machines. I don't know what those words mean, Eat but I still shoot first. To show the right and ask questions and later. Of preparing okay, for the end of the maybe world. not. Each vignette humorously contrasted noble peaks forethought and generosity, and Pokes short-sightedness and greed. Sen- the power button on the machine resists your press, seemingly rusted in place. It makes a uh, sandy crutch, crunch as it finally gives way. The screen comes to life with a sad beep. Beep. Examine personal logs. Try to recover some logs. Okay.
He fixed his gaze on the monitor, fingers deftly tapping the keys, expertly covering his tracks as he pulled data from the system. Lieutenant Amor kept stealing glances back at him. The fuck is this? Some kind of a romance novel? Enraptured by his steely blue eyes as she watched the doorway for the guards. Have you found the evidence yet, Captain Halcomb? You don't have much time left. Captain hit a few more keys and nodded. He pulled the floppy disk from the drive and signaled to the lieutenant quickly. Back to the vent. Ladies first, he said, helping Lieutenant Amor up the ceiling ducts. Despite her generous curves, she nimbly slid into the duct, and Captain Halcomb was easily able to pull himself up and follow her, sliding the grate back into place just as a uh, guard swung by on their patrol. Okay. Oh, the world ended yesterday. A missile defense system saved Colorado Springs, but Denver is gone, and we can't make contact with anyone outside the state. Discipline will keep my men in line, but we only got a few days until the civilians panic. We'll need to prepare to hold out until we can reconnect with Washington. Okay. 1998, so... Wow. So that's when the world ended. Another suicide today. We are too visible here. Peterson is de defensible, but the siege is exhausting, physically and mentally, too many buckling under the strain. We need a better solution before there are none of us left. I'm planning an evacuation to the secondary complex. The sooner we abandon this hellhole, the better. Alright. Let's stay away from the terminal. Step away from the ter terminal. Prasad Memorial. Who's this guy? Kid Victory sounds like a bad apple. Why do you look like an ice troll? Why is he blue? Okay, Junko. What the hell are you doing here? Hey, Rangers! Hope you like what I've done with the space. I really like the computer in the back. Okay. So let's go into the main chamber. War room. Also, we wanna talk, talk to some chickens. Oh, we have no merchants here. Sergeant Gretzky. Private Copman. You think that chicken is edible? Or we'll be picking wires out of our teeth. Oh, the cyber chicken. Marcelo Gonzalez. Uh, Gonzalez seems at home behind his radio equipment. He salutes crisply as you approach. Welcome to your communications hub, Rangers. The Patriarch was good enough to let me use my own gear. And I have my high-frequency radio equipment all set up. From here on out, I will be your voice in the wind. You can contact Ranger HQ at any time through your radio. And I'll reach out as needed. When there's arrest to be made under your authority, just radio them into me. Pleasure to serve. Tell us about your stuff. The finest setup you'll find this side of the Rockies. This equipment took years to get together. A lot of it custom work. String and pieces of gum, you know? This is the only setup in Colorado able to communicate on all sorts of frequency bands. Up to the HF band. That means we can reach you pretty much no matter where you are in Colorado. Okay. So this guy's obviously enthusiastic about his work. The basic controls are straightforward. You should try the device yourselves whenever you're here. I've picked up all kinds of signals. It's possible you could even reach Arizona. What do you think about the Patriarch? I've worked the radio for some time now, and I hear all kinds of stories from other parts of the world. Horrors you wouldn't believe. Is Colorado perfect? No. It's a damn sight better than any alternative I've seen. How do you feel about being part of the Rangers? Speaking frankly, great. <laughs> Protect and serve, right? Things had grown stale with the Marshals. I felt like I'd reached the end of what I could do for the people there. <laughs> Proud to be a Ranger now. It's great. Can you tell us again what is it you do? I'm your radio communications expert. 
I'll be manning the radio whenever you call in, or whenever we need to reach you. Which is the easy part of this job? The hard part is keeping this equipment in tip-top shape and ready to go. I'm not sure how capable you are, but I mean, I guess we need the radio guy. You installed our car AI. Are you an expert? Oh, I'm not. It just turns out artificial intelligence isn't that much different from fiddling with radios. Easy enough to install it turned out, but I wouldn't know the first thing about it otherwise. Well, if it breaks, it's still your job to fix it. Goodbye. Anytime. Alright, Private Copman? <laughs> what the fuck have we these names? Alright. Let's talk to Private Copman. What? Good luck out there. Okay. Alright, so let's have a chat with Sergeant Gradesky. Yeah. Full house. We have to go back to Sheriff Daisy. Meet Rosie Wong. I can make some replacements for my guys, but do I want to do it right now? Glad to see you back, Rangers. Cleaned up the worst of the mess in your absence. Now, what can I help you with? Sure thing. Let's have a look. Okay, let, let's say, what if I considered removing... Who's the most compromised? Lee Sing? So, Lucia Vesson compromises Lee Sing, weapon modding, and Moshe Kwan uh, compromises... Uh, well, top skills. A little bit Williams, sneaky shit, but it's not a huge deal. Lee Sing is the, is by far the most compromised here. So if I had a sniper who didn't have weapon modding and instead had something else, that would be more appropriate. The thing is, she's level 6. What if I removed her? Wait. Oh, level 5. What about the gear? Uh, I don't know. Shoot! This you start. You started it. Oh man! They've spotted enemies alert. They see us. Damn! Damn! Shit! Are you let's do this shit. Get, Get ready. Ruin there, animal. <laughs> oh my god! Can we? <laughs> that seems wrong. Can I can I make a woman whose whose uh, nickname is Animal? All right, let's go. Bookworm, I don't fucking know. Okay, appearance. Um. Let me randomize this. That looks good. Oh, that looks less good. Um, that looks good too. Uh, I, I don't. I don't like when the hair is uh, in front of their eyes. Looks stupid. Come on, man. You didn't just leave the stylist. Nah. It would be probably more fruitful, more useful if I just picked it myself. I don't know. Do we have ponytails? That's a lot of hair. You're a soldier. Alright, let's see what else we have. That looks a... Mm. The fuck? Oh, let's go with one of the guy guy haircuts. 
Can I kind of guy haircut? Okay, that looks good. We're not taking that. Her clothes look okay. Physique, that looks okay. Maybe make her shorter. Oh, slender? Uh, I don't know. Oh, maybe that one? Okay. Back. Sniper rifle. Attributes. Okay, we need max awareness. Luck is... is not important. Coordination is good to have at 2. Speed... I don't know about the importance of speed. Let's say speed is a dumb stat. Charisma... Charisma is a dumb stat. We're gonna go for uh, good intelligence. Something like this. Okay. We start pumping intelligence. I guess. What else we have? Skills. Now this is the, the important part. Do we see what we have in the team? Okay, we do. So, she's gonna be a sniper. She's gonna be a replacement for Lee Singh. Doc Nails, Doc Nails, William. Yeah. Weird Science. We have that. No one has armor modding, but I guess it doesn't matter right now. Lockpicking is by far the most important. Uh, we want to commit super hard to it. Mechanics. So we have Barter picked up. No one is doing hard ass. And no one is doing leadership. <laughs> Should I just, just commit to that and maybe go for armor modding? I don't know. Maybe just go for nothing. Can I just not spend my points? No, we have to spend the points. Really? Can I just confirm? Uh, I don't know. Others have no nothing. Can, can I just confirm? Like this? Okay. Uh. There you go. Anything else? No, no, no. I, I'm actually I'll curious. Does she have access to the gear that the other sniper, Hawk Sniper, Is this the gear she had? Oh fuck, I don't know now. Slack sniper, hawk sniper. Rude warrior blunt weapon. That looks pretty good. I, also oh my god. At that moment, all the lights went out in the garden. Skills. Just two skills unspent. Reduces target evasion. Masterful precision. You can also go for sniper rifles. Let's confirm. And maybe pick up the masterful precision. Inflicting critical effects? Okay, maybe we're gonna look into that, but currently it's not super important. <sighs> okay. So, she does have a, a kind of a XP penalty. Not, not so much, but uh, the other sniper was level 6, and she's only uh, level 5. So I'm not sure how it works. Maybe the lowest level guy in the team dictates the type of recruits you can get. Uh, Professor Higgs. 
I can just go with uh, more intelligence. Okay. Oh yeah, we can actually go for the toaster repair. That would uh, allow us to open up the toaster we have at home. Let's go like this for now. What? What do you mean, failure? Oh, okay. Where do we have the utility? Which category do these belong to? Aren't they usable items? Requires 10 weapon modding? Oh, okay. So these are... Something I can apply. Seriously, what category do these belong to? Okay. Let's... Throw back William's medal. They have no set category. That's not good. It's gotta be damn hard to find them like this. I also got a hard ass uh, medallion, but no one can really use it. No one is a hard ass right now. Love picking seems to be pretty important. Alright. Everybody. What? I think I've explored the entire base now. We have a door we can open. We can mess with the car. Oh no, the animals outside, right? Damn, it's tight in here now. Cyborg chicken. Okay. Uh. Yeah, he has four Animal Whisperer. So Cyber Chicken cannot be in interacted with. Private Moist. What? Did it work? Oh, what? Oh, really? So... Oh, fuck. So, you need... Putting points into Animal uh, Whisperer in, with all companions is acceptable, because now you get the chance to, like, get, get dogs and whatnot. What if someone else tries it? Um... Okay, so we need to have higher Animal Whisper. I suppose we're gonna put points, uh, I don't know, I, I guess at least three points in it with most guys. Because why not, right? So we did this. We have to go back to Sheriff Daisy. And then we check out the apartments, if we can. Or if not, then we go into Broadmoor Heights.
And I believe the dogs require free uh, animal whisperer. So do I really wanna put heavy pointed animal put a lot of pointed animal whisperer? So my companion is stronger? I don't know. Maybe not. But it seems like we're gonna need animal whisperer on maybe all companions. Just get the dogs back home. At least I want to have Animal Whisperer on all companions. Wait. Haven't I bought uh, a good sniper? Okay. One thing I, I think I fucked up. Okay, we, we're gonna try that. I think... Uh, Lead Sync might still have her gear with her. I'm... I'm willing to bet. I think I bought a better sniper and now I don't have that sniper. I think ultimately that's a good choice, but it also should be... Uh, Something that just pops up is like, uh oh. I mean, if you put back a guy, then <laughs> then that guy is not automatically stripped. But at the same time, you probably want that. So let's go back. Here to serve. And we will strip Lee Singh. Good to see you. Or at least I will learn sure about thing. this. Let's have a look. So we throw away animal. And we put in Lee Singh. There you go. Anything else? I'll be here. I kinda like the fact that Lee Singh is uh, level six. Does it make sense to throw away Lee Singh though? He's just higher level. Wait, how does how do levels work? Three hundred XP. Leasing might be not worth throwing away. Seriously, how do level works? Level works. So five two thousands. I have no idea. Uh, we can just put points into awareness here, I guess, if we keep Lee Sing. It might be worth it because she's just higher level. And uh, we can put points into Lock Bank. I don't know. But what I wanted to check is uh, yeah, she has her stuff level 4 sniper. Okay, so we can't as freely replace uh, companions. Ultimately, if I replace Lee Sing, then we would gain uh, six points. Sure thing. Let's have a look. So let's put an animal, but just to strip her. There you go. Anything else? All right. Goodbye. I'll be here. Yeah, she's at uh, 1,725. Yeah, Lee, Lee Tsing basically has one extra level on her. And we'll probably uh, uh, keep that advantage. Which basically means... What does level mean? I think that just... Yeah, I think that just skills, right? I still think animal is better. Unfortunately, animal is better because 
Lead Sync has uh, more wasted skills. Alright. We're gonna strip Lee Sync Rangers. and go with Animal. Good to see you. Sure thing. Let's have a look. Oh my god. At least there the decision was made. Anything else? Goodbye. I'll be here. Okay, we can actually take away her, her picture of her mom. Nice. Come on. Rangers. She's gonna run up. Good to see you. This is a little awkward. Sure thing. Let's have a look. <sighs> There you go. Anything else? Thank you. I'll be here. It seems like level has no Oh. Oh, level also gives you extra HP, right? So HP and skill points. So now That's so stupid. Oh. You know what would improve my morale? Just looking at someone else's mom. When they were a child. Fuck yeah. That will certainly make me happy. Alright, let's go. What? What happened to that... Uh, Lady, who was out here. I guess it doesn't matter right now. Alright, we're finally gonna go in, in town. Now with the good gear. Alright, let's go. I wonder if uh, strength is retroactive. Okay, it works retroactively. That makes it a lot better. Else it would be dumb. It seems like they made a lot of uh, good design decisions. I have a lot of freedom, I have a lot of choices, and I don't have a lot of headaches. <laughs> <laughs> and it causing uh, mechanics that I have to keep in mind. Wasteland 2 in that regard was worse. Okay. So let's go to the police station. Also, there's no chance based uh, skills. Ugh, that was so bad. And this, this just makes me happy. They learned a lot. Nice to see the city back to. What can I do for you, Rangers? Um, no, nothing apparently. Be sure to fill out a form. I, I guess we're gonna imagine that we didn't kick out the followers. We just, uh, they're just chilling back at home, playing safe, and guarding the base. Tell me it ain't true, Rangers. You worked out some kind of shady deal with Brigo? No. Brigo wasn't responsible for the Dorsey attack. McTavish was the real traitor. Bullshit. McTavish took the fall for his boss. Ain't no way Brago isn't balls deep in this mess, no matter what he says. Sounds like you gotta prove it if you're on the side of the law, right? And what about the part where you killed that fat ass Lipinski? He knew you'd let Brago off the hook, didn't he? Probably tried to stop you so you shot him dead. Is this how cops operate? I don't like that Brigo guy. You should have killed him. What about Lupinski? He probably, maybe. Come on. What about some proof? Lupinski was looking for a fight. It was us for or him. 
we couldn't start by and let him start killing people. He was looking for a fight. No. It was Brago or him. And you took the wrong side. No! He was attacking me. I thought I was pretty clear about how all this was supposed to go down. Real clear. I'm not hearing a lot of thank yous. Easy now, Daisy. The Patriarchs invested a lot in these folks. You don't want to... Shut your hole, Quan. Don't make me ask you where you were when they shot Lipinski. Might have been an idiot, but he was still a marshal. I don't care about labels. We're done here. I'll find some other way to take down your pal Brigo, and it won't include you. You know where to find the door. What? That's just so rude. Oh my god, people leveled up. Oh no, she didn't. She kinda did? And go for it. Awareness. Skills. I don't know how important this survival. It doesn't seem to come up. Okay, we can go with one barter. Or maybe one survival, right? Or maybe you can uh, start putting points at the Animal Whisperer. I, I don't really want to waste points on main characters, so... Maybe maybe we're just going to wait. Confirm. We can just uh, try it with custom characters. And if it's a bad idea, then I guess we're just going to replace them. It's an odd choice that you can't respect, but you can't just replace people. So easily. Do I need better small arms? Professor Higgs. I'm not sure where to put points here. Marshall Kwan can get better uh, with the guns. Uh, Kiss ass is pretty good. Sneaky shit. I don't know about sneaky shit. It makes it easier to disarm alarms, evade detection, spot hidden objects, and damage unaware enemies. I guess this would be better than a sniper. I kind of want to put points into Kiss Ass. And we can just... Oh. We always have attribute points to distribute. He has enough coordination to shoot twice. I guess going with awareness would be the, the best. Confirm. He's still five. Okay. It would be nice to see uh, what kind of level up they have. Oh, actually, it shows. Oh, fuck yeah. Shows that he has three skill points, one perk point. Oh, that's kind of nice. It doesn't show uh, in a. Doesn't show it in an like, icon, but it's better than nothing. So that's Kodiak, Colorado, Garden of the Gods, Little Vegas, Sheen Shop, and Ranger HQ. So let's go to Broadmoor Heights. Can't wait to find out. By order of the Patriarch, only authorized personnel are to pass this gate. I'm authorized. My uncle, Gideon Reyes, wants to speak to the Rangers. Oh, of course, Miss Wesson. Open it up, fellas. Alright, let's go in. <laughs> so this is the rich part of town, I guess. We got some fancy statues of naked guys and naked women and naked children holding a big uh, flag. That's really great. Also, someone lost his food over there.
Admin Team November, Ranger HQ here. A squad of BAMPs rolled up to Ranger HQ, rough mercenary types. Their leader goes by Gary Wolf, claims to be an ex-Ranger. Says he has news for you about your old enemy. Seems like the cutthroat take no prisoner type. Over. Copy that, Ranger HQ. We'll check it out. We'll be here. Over and out. Oh my god. Alright, we gotta go back. Because it seems like... I don't know. Well, we had one time-sensitive mission. And now I'm like... This seems time-sensitive, so maybe I should go back. But I would have liked that option of like, Hey, do you wanna go back? It was like, yeah. Alright, let's do it. Then I, I just load, load back into the Ranger HQ. And now we gotta go through two load screens. Uh, to get back home. But all the people die here? If this is the punishment, does this mean that if you were a criminal in the summer, then it, your chances of survival would be much higher? Then you could just work on your tan. But if you uh, commit crimes in the winter, then it's a death sentence. So, <laughs> you gotta think about it. Yeah, I do realize that... Um, the weather is cold here, probably all the time, but, I mean, probably depends on the season. Well, we're back home. I definitely want to go for uh, Animal Whisper on the guys. <laughs> I want level 3 Animal Whisper. Maybe on the Toaster guy. Oh yeah, Mr. Toasty. We'll go for level 3 Animal Whisper. He already has so many skills, though. Uh, maybe she'll go for it? But that would be two levels. I don't want any uh, voice companions to go for it. Maybe he'll do it. I don't know. So where are these guys? They rolled up to Ranger HQ. Oh. Well, hello there. You guys want to die? Hey. Oh. Who's in charge in here? You're the CO around here? Huh. Okay. Quality setup this time. Better than back in AZ. Guess Daddy Buchanan's buying you all the good gear. Do you want to die? Who are you? Gary Wolf, freelance security consultant and synth hunter. Got a proposition for you. Is that so? You've been to the Ranger Citadel? I helped the Rangers during their whole Cochise debacle. They might have come out strong if they'd listened to me. Too bad. What do you want? After the Rangers nuked Cochise and themselves, I figured somebody competent had to chase down its mechanical brood. So I recruited folks who'd lost family to synths, and I formed a posse. Decommissioned a dozen of the plastic punks in AZ. Then heard a feud headed east and followed them here. Now I'm getting flack from that tin star twat Daisy for exchanging fire with the synth we tracked to Colorado Springs. That's where you come in. Interfering bitch told the marshals to shoot us on sight if we stepped inside the city limits again. So we can't go after this October 11 synth. Was hoping you might be interested in taking care of it for us. Cash bounty for its head. The synth is called October 11? Yeah. 
No idea why. Synths are weird that way. It and another synth called Tourmaline caved some sieves on their way here, just for kicks. So watch yourselves. Eleven is a stone killer. Gotta be neutralized before it kills again. And killing it will help us find its comrades. What? It? What's so bad about synths? Jesus. You're not one of those, are you? I just ask. Fucking simps are always talking about how synths are sentient. They have feelings. Bullshit. That's how they trick you. Synths are just top grade robots. What makes them dangerous is that every one of them has a little piece of cochise in their electric brain, like a virus. And if you leave them alone for too long, that virus spreads. And pretty soon we have the goddamn robot apocalypse all over again. I like destroying a uh, tech. Isn't, isn't there a way to uh, learn more about them? Not on my watch. We cap them as soon as we see them. Don't give them a chance to talk. So, tell us about Coochies. How will killing October help us find the others? Yeah, exactly. All synths got a radio in their heads. Let them communicate long distance and triangulate on each other. Once I crack Eleven's head open, I'll hack it for their locations. You want to go after the others too? I'll make it worth your time. Why did Daisy ban you from hunting in Colorado, Colorado Springs? We cornered Eleven downtown and tried to take it out quietly. But there was a snafu and we had to open fire. Shot up the street. Wounded some civs. Wow. Silly bitch wouldn't listen when I warned her about the synth. Acted like we were the problem and sent us packing. Fuck her. Hey now, that's my ex-boss you're talking about, Hoss. Lucky you quit then. She's a frag candidate for sure. Okay, we'll add this runaway sin to our list. <laughs> add it to your list? Ought to be your top priority. Everything I do is apparently supposed to be top priority. Whatever. We'll wait here until you really? back its head. Should still be downtown somewhere. You'll know you're near it when you start hearing weird static on your radio. Really? Squad, at ease. Ah, uh, yeah, that's my line. Here to serve. <coughs> Guys, over here! Hey, I'm feeling much better now. Ready to help out any way I can. Sure. We could use you out here. Out there. Wanna come along? Are you happy with how things are going so far? I totally expected you to die. Uh, it's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine, I guess. Not really inspiring anybody, but that's not really our job, is it? Our job is to save the folks back home. And, well, I'm pretty sure we'll get there. We could try harder, though. Try harder? <laughs> and we could use you out there. Wanna come along? You bet. Ready when you are. Oh, okay. Fuck. Okay. What do you have? She's a sniper mechanic with first aid. Oh, fuck. Is she? Oh, she's voiced. Wait, does she have a special gun too? Um. Pfft. No, this looks bad. Do you want to give me a headache game? <laughs> okay. Bru, we have to take voice companions. Problem, she has sniper rifles. And she has sniper rifles. Mechanics and first aid. Mechanics and first aid. So much conflict. So fucking much conflict. I guess the sniper rifle is not necessarily a conflict, but this is bad. 
So I would need another Kai who's, who has big guns, explosives, and not first aid. Mechanics and first... Uh, yeah, I guess she can use the mechanics helmet. That's... Um... Wow, this is not good. So, we're gonna take William, we're gonna strip him from all the stuff. Close. Rangers, good to see you. Sure thing, let's have a look. This is a, a little bad. I have to say they fucked this up a little bit. Private Jody Bell. Select him. Ready. There you go. Anything else? No, goodbye. I'll be here. I'll let the Reed Boys family know we have now. Look at sure thing. Let's have a look. Okay. So I get two snipers if we want to go uh, with that approach. And two small gunners. Else I would need to make even more changes. And maybe replace animal for someone else. Wow. New recruits. What about the default guys? We already got a mechanic. Nurse stuff. Kiss ass, we have that. Explosives, big guns. Pretty sure I have explosives, right? No, we don't have anyone with explosives. And armor modding. No one is doing armor modding. Uh, I think Thunder might be an acceptable choice. Auto weapons. Oh, man. Thunder? Well, she doesn't have any conflicts. And I wouldn't be able to... I wouldn't need to make a new character. Sniper rifles. Okay. There you go. Anything else? Goodbye. I'll be here. So she has three attribute points she can uh, distribute. Um I guess we might want to go for extra strength, but most of all we want extra awareness so she does damage. Skill wise Yeah, she would need to be good with big guns. But what if we went for Animal Whisperer? Let's one po put one point in the Animal Whisperer, and I kind of want to see what happens. Okay, let's accept this. Of course, I could just make a custom character that's more badass, but who cares about that? We got the doggies out here. I think we need Animal Whisperer free to get the doggies. Oh! We actually lost the animal that William had. That's all for now? What? Who has the dog? So she has a dog. Oh, okay. So we lost the the bonus of the cat with the hat. And I guess there's no way to send away a companion.
How does she have the dog? Okay, let's see this. She has level 3 Animal Whisperer. Okay. And first aid and mechanics. Okay. Now, what about you? I know that. This is not about you. Okay, um, I did... Did turn on one, uh... Retain group on selection, I think. I think that's, uh, messing with, uh... What I want to do. Because, uh, normally, the highest skill follower is, uh, selected. So we require Animal Whisperer free to get a dog. We can put points into explosives and maybe big guns. Should it be explosives? Maybe it should be both. Let's accept. So Animal Whisperer is okay to have. What? What? What is that? Okay. So, we can only have one of one type. That's very interesting. What about... What about the cat? Can I just... Get William out with his cat, and dismiss the cat, and then all, then again uh, rehire the cat. What about the servitor? Okay, this is not an animal, but it was a decent try. Rangers, good to see you. Sure thing. Let's have a look. There you go. Anything else? I'll be here. Okay, we saved. And we can uh, talk to Puss with Boots. Major Tomcat. Hey there, Major Tomcat. Why don't you come follow Team November again? That'll be all. Oh, can I just r change? Owners? Okay. Critical chance of 6%. That would be actually really good on Jody Bell. What? This is weird. Okay, can I can I have William uh whisper to the dog? The fuck is going on here? <sighs> what if he dismissed the dog? The dog doesn't go away. Okay, that's good. So then we have Jody Bell talk to the cat. It only requires Animal Whisperer level 1 and Thunder. Can you pick up the dog? What's wrong? So that dog took it very personally that we let, let him go? What? What are the other dogs outside? There are a lot of dogs. Can we get a new dog? We can only have one uh, dog in the team. Combat speed of one. 
gives us a bonus plus also will help us fight. Okay. And now we send back William. People are talking about how you cleared those out what? here. What Rangers, is this? Good to see you. What do you mean multiplayer squad man management requires both players? I'm not playing multiplayer. Is it because uh, Thunder is too far away? Rangers, good to see you. Sure thing. Let's have a look. Yeah, we need to kick William and put in animal, and that's fine. Okay, I guess I learned about that. I don't know if I, we want to up the animal whisper with Jody Bell. Okay, well, this is there fine, I think. Anything else? No, we're good to I'll go. Here. Wow. Okay, can I just finally put in a good gun here? How is it ordered? Is it by category? Auto weapons, small arms, sniper rifles, and big guns. So we're gonna put in a brand. Uh, she has... Five strengths, which is respectable. This requires four strength. Some pants. Yeah, that's fine too. Also, Jody Bell will use the mechanic helmet. Right? Pushes her mechanic to to five. And on top of that, I guess she's not about to be the main tank. That's fine. And, uh, yeah, everybody has gear, except... Yeah, for, yeah, screw that. Level 6 Gunslinger, Jody Bell. Okay, let's just go back and see what am I missing. A perk point, another perk point, skill point, then the perk point. Three skill points. What perks do we have access to? Flame Prover, Suppressing Fire. Yeah, I don't know. Animal companions gain bonus con and damage. I mean, that seems good. So we can have a tough dog. That might be more important than the suppressing fire. Alright, let's just have a strong dog. I'm not sure about that. Buying multiple instances. Items instead of just one provides a 20% discount. Okay. But is money so tight? So far, I haven't even spent any money. All right, let's just go. <laughs> Wait a second. Little gophers like to stay in their holes, but that just makes it easier uh, for you to take them down. Enemies have a 25% less benefit from cover when attacking them. That sounds amazing. That's an amazing perk. Your strike meter charges f bonus 5% with each successful handgun attack. Well, she's gonna be a handgunner, so I guess might as well go for that. He's, he's also going for handguns. Those to repair. Oh. Toaster now use bonus loot. Oh, that would be nice to pick up. Now yields toast. Well, okay, damn. Can we just fucking go? <laughs> okay. I guess Marshall Kwan is gonna be the leader now. Wait. Um. Retain a group on selection. A 
everybody. Time to go on a fuck fucking mission. What is this? What? Okay. I'm not sure that matters. Uh, currently I don't have a tank, I guess. That might be fine. Faint static. So we have to pay attention to the radio. Well, we want to pay attention to the radio to find the the dumb robot. But yeah, I mean, that is one thing we are doing. Um. Is he near the garage? I don't know. Let's just go to the place that we haven't explored before. Not just like, oh yeah, let's just try to find the robot. Okay, completed missions don't matter. Downtown Colorado Springs. Okay. What is this? No one's allowed in there. Sorry about that. Not even you. Good day. Good day to you. Damn. <laughs> there were never a hundred founding families in Colorado Springs, but the hundred families sounded better than the sixty-three f families. That's not a lot of people. What's the average amount of people in a family? I suppose in order to qualify as a family you need that you need to have at least two people. Or maybe or did the loners count too? Or do the loners count? I don't know. Do the loners count? I, I guess it as I guess technically don't. So in order to have a family, at least two people. Then you can have like two people. You know, I, I suppose that could, uh, that could, uh, include, like, a lot of husbands and wives, but usually, like, two, and, like, a bunch of children. But, realistically, children are more likely to, uh, die in a post-apocalyptic scenario, so, I don't know, probably not a lot of children, so, I don't know. That's 63 families that, I don't know, it's probably, like, no more than 300 people. That, that's, that's for sure. Broadmoor Heights. Who are you people? Mercenaries? They're just residents. Another cyborg chicken. I wish they'd get a younger preacher to come and give sermons. You just want eye candy. Guilty. Oh, requires power? Okay, so we need Animal Whisperer 4 to get a Cyber Chicken. Permanent increases Kiss Ass. Well, 
Marshall Kwan can use that. Assuming we're gonna hold on to him, but that's very likely. So where are the books? Okay. Increases brawling. Um. He could use the sneaky shit book. Oh, the mechanics book. Assuming we keep these uh, companions. Well, it seems like early on the game doesn't really encourage me that much to hold on to uh, companions, but probably gonna change later. Wait a second. Where is my gun? Oh, okay. Let's use the Hawk Hunter, I think. No. I suppose the... The old Rusty is better than the Hawk Hunter, but not by much. Extra penetration would be more relevant on those who have a weapon head that don't have a high penetration, like pistols. Okay, I won't be using the lockpick book. All right, let's go. Miriam Knox. What the hell are you doing here? The middle-aged woman murmurs quietly to herself, her hands uh, clasped in a prayer. When she notices you standing nearby, she looks up, and you see tears streaming down her cheeks. Oh, thank God. You're the Westerners, aren't you? The Rangers? That's not us. That's us. Need help? My husband, my Hardy. Hardy? Was an Aspen when Vic Buchanan raided the town. Vic took him hostage, but there's been no word for weeks. I know it's frightful, wicked to hope for the safety of one soul over many, but I beg you, find him, save him if you can. If I can? Wow. No need to beg, Mrs. Knox. We have business of our own with Vic Buchanan. If your husband's alive, we'll find him. I didn't see you there, Lucia. You're a good girl. Always have been. I'm dreadful sorry for your loss. How do you know about that? We have money, Rangers. Even though we don't live fancy like some families do, if you bring my hearty home safe, we'll donate all we can to your cause. All you can? Like, what are we talking about here? Chump change under the table and between the, the couch, uh, cushions, or everything you got. Can you describe your husband for us? Did I use the word hard? On the portly side, always well dressed, but he likes playing cowboy out on the ranch. Kindest man in the hundred families. That's why I married him. That was fucking useless. So we're looking for a fat cowboy who's kind. That's kind is not gonna help us identify him. You're one of the hundred families? Yes, but we're homebodies, and neither of us is very political. We own bison ranches out east, supply Colorado Springs with half its meat. Oh, that's nice. We found this old journal in our headquarters. It mentions the Knox family. Any interest in it? Let me see who... Allie Blue? Aunt Allie? My Goodness, of course. I'd love to read this. Well, how about pay up? Blue is my maiden name. Back in the old days, the Blues and the Noxes hated each other. Old Aunt Ellie almost shot me when I told her I was gonna marry Hardy. 
always wanted to know what things were like when she was young. Oh, thank you, Rangers. Let me give you something for this. I'm not giving it to you. What? You gave me 37 bucks, then 19 bucks, then 19 bucks again? Thanks. You find the cybernetic chicken in the church closet. Ever seen it before? You mean he's real? I've seen him poking around the church at night, but I wasn't sure if my mind was playing tricks on me. Didn't dare get too close. I left him some food, just in case. Corn and scrap metal. He seemed like such a good, strong chicken. Well, yes. We'll do what we can, Mr. N uh, Miss Knox. I know you well. Thank you, Rangers. This man looks like he might have uh, been drawn by a mathematician. Precision cut luxury and manicured good looks. Ah, uh, you're the Rangers, yes? I'm most pleased to see you. I'm Gideon Reyes. Uncle Gideon, you heard about my family? I did, Sobrina, and I'm so sorry. You know you always have a place in my house for as long as you need. I know, and I am grateful. But I have a place with these rangers now. We mean to see justice done for my family. Probably would have made more sense to mute the microphone while I'm chewing. All right. Is that so, rangers? That's right. Your niece is deputized ranger now. She's the boss. She was always an impressive girl. My sister would be proud of her. Now, I expect you're here about my call. There is a situation in Colorado Springs that requires a delicate touch. But first, you need to know the truth about this city. I'm ready. Colorado Springs isn't as prosperous as it pretends. We can barely feed our existing population. And now, smugglers are bringing refugees into the city every day. If we had enough food to support them, we would welcome them. But we don't. I suppose that's fair enough. I've asked the Patriarch to chase off these smugglers, but he says the crisis with the Dorseys and his children have left the Marshals spread too thin. I think yes. Can, can there be a solution here? Because, you know, you chase these people away, but they are fucking desperate, so what they will do is start looting. I suppose... In, in town, you, you might feel safe, but still. Is everything behind the wall? Because, you know, like in medieval times, like, you know, there was like a castle and the land was, you know, outside the castle. And probably we, we have a very similar uh, situation here. And all the ranches and farms are outside of the walls. And guess what those people will do? It seems he'd rather just have Sheriff Daisy keep putting refugees in the pillories rather than stopping the tide at its source. It's infuriating. And that is why I've called you. Yeah, but it, it does seem like you, you don't really see the problem, or at least... You're not trying to treat the problem at its source. We are the ref where are the refugees coming from? The plains, mostly. After the Patriarch defeated the Eastern gangs, People started settling out there, thinking it was safe. Now the gangs have returned, and all the homesteaders are fleeing back to Colorado Springs. If the Patriarch doesn't care about uh, these smugglers, we'd be doing this on our own time. Will you pay? Oh, of course. And not just in money. I do a lot of business with the local Arapaho Garage and I can get them to provide you with mechanics to service your vehicle. They always have the best, and I'll pay for everything. Nice! We could use some decent mechanics. Okay, so this confirms that, that Jody Bell actually talks, unlike uh, custom companions. They will be more than decent, I assure you. Now, what do you say? Sounds like a job. We can't promise 
will deal with this, sorry. Okay, we'll look into this for you. I like that. I like that wording. Not like, it's a done deal, but, you know, we'll look into it. Thank you. I'm told the smugglers are operating out of the bazaar, a trader's market east of Colorado Springs. Okay. When you find them, well, do what you can. Convince them to take the refugees elsewhere. Convince them to stop entirely. Arrest them. I just want this problem to go away. That's the problem with hungry people. They're not really gonna go away. Thank you for agreeing to help. You are doing Colorado Springs a great service. Don't thank me yet. Goodbye and good luck. What the fuck is going on here? Guaranteed 100% waterproof and blood stain resistant. Colorado Springs Waterproofing Company. Wow. Well, that's just great. Let us pray for those lost in the Dorsey attack. Especially the Wesson family. Percival, may the deluge spare you, my child. Well, okay then. So, making a note here, mental note. Cyborg chicken. Uh, four animal whisper to get the cyborg chicken. We want that. Popper upper. Hitting kitten. Crit chance of 6%. Crit chance of 14%. Oh yeah. She has a low... Uh, crit chance, but the sniper actually benefits greatly from uh, crit chance. So, it's probably something we want to uh, bring up to high level later. So they killed the Wessons, the Schulers, the Jacksons, Sophia Gutierrez too, and her kids. The Patriarch said the Dorseys were dead. Is either lying or incompetent. Which is it? A lot of people have been asking the same thing. Oh, this guy's named. Please step back, Rangers. I'm not supposed to let anyone near this servitor drone. It's malfunctioning something fierce, and we think it belonged to the Wessons. I can fix it. No! Lucia, you're a Wesson. Doesn't that make the drone your property? That's right. I recognize that drone. It ran little errands for my father and alphabetized his books. What the fuck? That's my stuff. Stare expectantly at the marshal. Are you going to stop Miss Vesson from accessing her property? No, I mean, no, ma'am. Please don't mind me. That's interesting. So because of we had Lu Lucia Vesson in, in the team, we didn't need to uh, pass the Kisas uh, 6. Go ahead and do whatever you need to Which do. was probably higher because uh, they don't like me. Hey, look at him go. I am very well with the private property. Please do not touch. Wow. Do they follow the robot? Poor Lucia. Oh. Is it marks with X? What the fuck is up with this place? People are dying in shacks outside. This is like a mansion. Oh ho ho! Pop 
Punk Buster, Auto Shotgun, Small Arms of 4. Okay. Range of 10. I think this looks okay. I'll be taking that. We're taking it in evidence. Oh. It feels so empty now. Even when Pa and Ma were traveling, they... Big lock of six. Their spirits filled the place. Now, they do not. Fuck, what was the other save that I, I needed six pick lock for? I, I don't know. I think it was in the casino. I pray this message finds its way to you, as it is the last I'm ever likely to give. Whatever becomes of us, must. Damn Dorseys weren't content to rip everything up. They had to toss the furniture around, too. Animals. Hey, hey, hey! That's that's not nice. We like animals. Also, we got a companion called Animal. <laughs> I mean, I didn't even choose it. I mean, I guess I did. I just kept clicking random and like, oh, okay, here we go. I couldn't even leave my memories of this place alone. You know, you can fix it up. Lucia, what do you think happened here? Peer beyond the rubble. My house was the first place the Dorseys went. Probably walked right in through the front door, stole my parents and little brother away, and then took out their anger on the house. Anger? Fear beyond the rubble? Oh, they blocked up a door? It's dark, but you could make out smashed scraps of wood and splintered doors. It doesn't look like the attackers left much of anything behind. I mean, this place is still awesome. We can just use it as a... It's as big as my fucking warehouse. No point looking back there. It's smashed up even worse. And the Dorseys took everything worth stealing. Alicia, you might not be getting the picture here. You lost your family, but this is still the biggest house in town. And look at this. Alright, step away from the debris. It's as big as the fucking casino. Mama used to love sitting in here. She'd be ashamed at the mess it's in now. Okay, we found the Bren that I bought. Coach gun. Oh, look at that. Wow. Well, no, don't go there! Fuck! Really to muck around with his cooking supplies. Are we gonna die? How long the poison stays on? What the fuck? Do I have antidote? Should have saved. There's no way we can get the doctor in get to a doctor in time. What can I do? Do I have antidote? I do have one antidote. Per turn? How long is a turn? Is that six seconds? Okay, who's the the first aider here? Jody Bell, right? No one else has it. Okay. I should probably make sure everyone has access to a steam pack. Okay, we're just gonna wait for it to expire, and then we're gonna go for a uh, double uh, med pack. While that's going on, I don't really want to run into a frag grenade. Wait, we have other penalty. Healing bonus of 50%, okay. So it's not a good idea to go for a uh, Mad pack. Oh, that's going on. Oh. Do the animal companions heal? On their own? What a teamwork. Oh 
don't know. So this is the toaster repair guy, right? Oh. Fine. Just open up this toaster. It just worked a lot. What about the container? That said EMP. Five seconds remaining. Oh, wait, what? We ran out of medipacks? Should I just have more in my quick slots? All right, guys, let's go. <laughs> we're leaving the gas mine, and um, this kind of shows that we're probably going to need uh, six explosives sooner rather than later. Well, we kind of already needed it. Not exactly uh, I want to go back and uh, fully explore the first area. I don't think we left much here or anything, but I do want to be thorough. Yeah, it's fine. I suppose we go counterclockwise here. A lot of dogs in the game, but we can't do much with them. Oh, but is that my dog? Fuck, I don't know. Oh, that's my dog. Okay. Oh, not, not you. Fuck. You try it. Lucia, can you try it? The dog doesn't say anything. Alright. Maybe I just uh, stay like this. Try to make sure that I have uh, the entire team selected. Wait, can I just select? Oh yeah, we can select the entire team with space. I just don't like using it. Ancient love letter? How ancient is that? Probably not that ancient. Move along. Okay, another ransacked house. How did they get in here? What? An inscription on the bench reads for Camilla, the cleverest girl I met on Monday. On a Monday. Wow. That's great. Wow. So, obviously, you met smarter girls on, on every other day of the week. Nothing, uh, noting the reference to a day of the week, like in the ancient love letter, you search the area. Wedged underneath the bench, you find a small, ornate key. It looks like it's been here for a long time. Okay. A grave! Oh yeah! LB. A tree. A plague uh, on the street says, planted on the day of the patriarch's birth, Tuesday, 
uh, April 18, uh, 2028. This looks like the third location mentioned in the love letter, assuming the letter's hiding uh, place was the first location and the park bench was the second location. Examining the tree carefully, you find the box that someone concealed in the trunk. The wood has grown around it, but a tiny keyhole is visible through a crack in the wood. Oh. Pick the lock using very tiny tools. The box is bigger than it looks. You pull out the, a tightly rolled bearskin. Unrolling it, you discover what appears to be an ancient and undelivered marriage proposal along with uh, quite a lot of money. I mean, I guess that's romantic. The money kind of wrecks it though. I reckon it's a good thing this proposal was never delivered. Ah, young love. Ah, Glad hard. I grew out of it. Uh, can we check out the monument? This place is such a waste. What I would have is it's just a bunch of farms here. I mean, I, I guess farms outside is not the best, you know? Still. We can have greenhouses, right? Marshall truck? What is this? This place is pretty big, but there's no one to talk to. Fountain? Fusion turret? What is this place? Oh, Diligent Joe! It's the guy of the... the Patriarch. Hmm? Yes? Oh! <laughs> Hello! Uh, you must be the Rangers. That is correct. I'm... Diligent Joe, uh, the Patriarch's personal secretary. I make sure uh, only people who have official business with him get past his door. Oh. <laughs> you, uh, due to the importance of your mission, have Mr. Buchanan's leave to enter as necessary. Really? Of course, uh, that privilege could be revoked at any time, but for now, uh, please go on in. Hello, Joe. Ah, Miss Wesson. You, you have my deepest sympathies on the deaths of your, your family. Thank you, Joe. So normal folk can't see the Patriarch? Uh, it used to be that we held town hall meetings where citizens could bring their grievances before him, but uh, that practice has changed in the last year or so uh, due to uh, security concerns. Good day. I've told you Rabbit? before, drone. The Patriarch isn't interested. Departed respectfully. Let's put one point into Animal Whisperer with Professor Higgs. If I can find that. Not the dog. Where's the bunny? Fuck. Oh, okay. Bunny, join us. Oh, okay. He needs an uh, initiative of 10%. Oh, Melissa Ho. Melvin oh, Gilbert. I like to explore one area before. Shut the fuck up, robot. Oh, uh, we're just talking, strangers. N no need to get any closer. Oh, fame obscure. What could you possibly want? Well, 
for you to join me. Everyone, just join me. At your approach, the servitor twitches and heaves, rising to its full height. height. Right. We have information about Bellamy Ward. Ooh. I need more stuff. Five. Goodbye. Can he go for nerd stuff five? Oh my god, we have to pick the lock too? Wow. Okay, animal level dub. <laughs> Why so many robots? There are more robots here than people. What the hell is up with this design? Elijah Ward. This looks like a work in progress version of the solo collectors placed uh, throughout the Garden of the Gods. Wow. Mechanics of seven. Quietly remove the most valuable parts, step away. Mechanics of seven, wow. I can't even go for that. We have the, the helmet as a way to boost our, our mechanics. It, it was four. I guess I want to put points into it. But God damn it. <laughs> Let's say we do it next level. We go up to uh, the six. And we also use the book. That pushes up, us up to seven. Next level is... Uh, well, it's going to take some time. Downtown Colorado Springs, whatever that, that is. Again, the Downtown Colorado Springs. Okay. So let's talk to Elit. Elijah. The then we the talk to the patriarch. Show Blast. You are the Rangers, correct? I expected our paths to cross eventually. It's very nonchalant about us breaking into his house. I'm told that you were present in the Garden of the Gods when my son Bellamy died. That incident has never been explained to my satisfaction. Oh crap, we could have saved the son. But perhaps it is better that way. I do not think I wish to know the details. All right. May I help you with something? What can you tell us about the Patriarch's children? Their names are Valor, Victory, and Liberty. They are Saul Buchanan's children. He loves them as only a father can. I understand that love. That's all I should say. Please ask me about anything else. What do you do? Most of my time is spent researching and developing technology. In time, I believe we can restore our standard of living to that of the legendary pre-war days in the 1980s. Eh, who knows? Someday we may even exceed it. Yeah, I suppose uh, not starting to death first would be a good step. 
We'll talk later. Right, Rangers. So we need uh, four animal whisperer for the robo chicken. Okay, might as well talk to the. Wait, what? Oh crap. I have to wait for the entire team to come over here. Are they coming though? Or is this one of those games where they really suck at pathfinding? You no, know, they're coming in a very leisurely place, uh, pace. Alright. We're gonna check out the Patriarch's Palace. And we already have a, a next location in mind. It's downtown Colorado Springs. Look at this, the Iron Throne. <laughs> but with rockets. Elite Guard. Yeah. The game is just telling me. This guy is probably gonna be uh, someone who we can at least fight. The but possibly the boss. So I think the, the, the robots are gonna be the boss. The Patriarch likes it quiet. But this guy is someone we can fight for sure. Wait. We, we can talk to the Elite Enforcer. Sudden moves, understand? Can we loot your armor crate? Stop. Oh. I guess that's a no. Statue of the Patriarch. Oh, picklock seven. This is definitely gonna be a, a fight. Kinda looks like an unavoidable fight. Imagine the jolly times around this table. By order of sub Pikaken, uh, the orphan will be presented as the legitimate heir of Claire Ho. All marshals present during the Godfisher raid are sworn to secrecy. What? The papers appear to be adoption records for one Melissa Ho. One section stands out. By order of Sabikek and the orphan will be presented as the legendum there. Yeah, I read that. You recognize the name Ho from the Broadmoor Heights. She was one of the people mocking others as they passed. Oh, so we can use that as leverage. Well, Rangers, welcome. How are you settling in? Well, this is great. <laughs> we already have the warehouse up and running. Everyone's go everything's going great. Thanks again for all your help. You'll definitely like hearing that. Not at all. Now, what can I do for you? Um, we have questions. Ask them. Have you thought about what will happen to Colorado after you're gone? Good question. Why? Are you getting ideas? Are you? It just seems as you're not planning to pass the job to your children. It might be time to consider another successor. Or is he a synth? I've got years left to make that decision, Rangers. And I'm certainly not going to make it while all this is going on. 
What happened between you and the Dorseys? Used to be my strongest supporters. Until we had an argument about how quickly democracy should be instituted in Colorado. When they lost that argument, they tried to usurp me. And... Well, until they attacked the city, I thought I'd wiped out the whole family. Apparently, Neelius led some of them into the wilderness. I should have been more thorough. I assume it was Liberty who put them up to the raid. They were never this clever before. Couldn't help noticing that you seem to favor your daughter over your sons. <laughs> Can you blame me? If she wasn't as bloody-handed as she is brave, I'd have already passed the throne to her. Unfortunately, she has no interest in governing. Only ruling. Have you ever considered expanding beyond the borders of Col the Colorado? The nation as you see it is my life's work. Only fools expand beyond their ability to govern. Fine. What? Ask them. Seems weird. Fine. Come on, why is it lagging? Or it's not lagging, but it's, it's just it's just weird. Alright. You're cleared for public area. There's a lot of people here. We're driving uh who are trying to uh guard your ass. Your voice down. What about that note? Pink the coffee. Making coffee so hard. I guess we can't loot the grenade box. Can we loot the locker? No, we don't have enough nurse stuff. Let's stop away from the uh, terminal. It seems to be this place is uh something we should check out when we're high level. We have a level seven lockpicking door here and a level seven uh, nerd stuff computer in the back. I suppose they'll let just anyone in these days. Oh, hello there. I believe we were having a conversation. I'd certainly remember that odor. Hold up the ocean record. Does this look familiar? <laughs> Damn. Straight to the point. How did you get that? I... I see. You have me at a disadvantage. I knew this day might come, but I didn't think it would be at the hand of strangers. Hand over those documents. In return, I'll use my considerable influence to ensure you are well known and fondly thought of among respectable sorts of people. My people. But I would lose my leverage. You talk, talk us up. We stay quiet about you. Sounds fair. No, you can't have the records for free. This is bad. What I would do is hold on to the paper and you better talk, you know, you better say that we are the best, best in town. I want everyone to uh, say that the Rangers are the best 
and this that's not what I'm hearing, then guess what? I might just lose that paper. Maybe, maybe the cops will find it. Maybe some, maybe uh, I, I lose it on the market. Something like that. I mean, this is just stupid. Why would I lose my leverage? Sorry, we don't accept cash. This is bad. It's not extortion. It's a, it's a trade, right? Good. I'm glad we have an understanding. I'll let everyone know about the fair and honorable rangers. Word travels fast in my circles. Yeah, but this is not good. Oh. Rangers, you really suck at making deals. <laughs> oh my god. Other than the, the cyber chicken, there's nothing to do here. No doctor here. So we'll leave this area. The fuck is that? Oh, that's a guard. But it was a walking gun. Okay. Downtown Colorado Springs. Apparently this is where we have two quests. If I was a synth, where would I be hiding? Who would as hi who would I hide as? Did I meet anyone who seemed like a synth? It's probably not a cop. Probably not the way, the paper boy. The garage was empty. I suppose we can maybe check the the clothing store, but it's probably not the guy who's running the clothing store. It's probably not anyone in the garage. Can we get a cat follower? We need Animal Whisperer too to get a cat. Can we? Can we do that? Oh, we got attribute points. Let's go for intelligence. Let's confirm that. We can just go for more lock picking. I don't think we need that. I guess we might as well go for some animal whisper with these guys. Sneaky shit, kiss ass. Did Rangers seal a deal with the Vegas mob? Drago says no comment. Okay. Oh fuck, where's the cat? Come back, cat. So we tamed the cat. Oh, it gives us crit chance of six. Oh, that's pretty good. We have the the other cat giving us crit chance of six too. So that actually makes critical uh far more tempting to go for. Anyway, so if I was a robot, where would I be? Did seal a deal would I be making up with some uh, no local girl? I don't think so. Anyone in here? Are you a robot? Oh fuck, Welcome I just found out. Cassidy. How are we gonna uh, figure this out? What can I do for you? Have you seen a robot around here? Help, That's the first question. Then we ask if they are a robot. Will work. Maybe I'll join the marshals. We do like to run. I don't think Oh shit. Faint modem noises? We're getting closer. Okay. The synth is in here. Fuck yeah. 
Who would I dress up as? As a saint. Then came the gangs of the eastern plains, hoping to rob us of our worldly gains. Oh, saw saw him coming and he rolled up his sleeves. He said, you're all nothing but a pack of thieves. Strong as an ox at three score and ten. He faced down the savages again and again. Then drove them back to the desolate east and secured for Colorado an endless peace. Is Buchanan a man? Oh boy, what a man. The truest of men. You could say that again. They all had lame faces. Alright, let's see what we have here. Oh, look at that. Raise their heads to the circling wings of the vultures who were waiting to die like kings. He said that the only way to save the land was to bury the hatchet and all shake hands. So they signed the treaty in a single day and begged him to lead them and show them the way. What about the bird? Where would you shoot a bear if it was coming for you? I wouldn't. I'd run. Oh, crap. He's here. He's at the end, gun, I, I think. Are they find the robot? How'd they find him? There's nothing to click on. Unless he's the hawk. Okay, maybe he's not here, but he's close. A sad banana? Well, that's just fucking great. Oh! How yeah, about this? This is the Sands Lux apartments. Who's there? Oh, really? This is the apartments! Fuck yeah! I didn't know. We are the Rangers! Oh. What? You're here? I don't believe it. Come in, come in! Fuck yeah. So, this is one of the uh, locations we have to check out. Don't you be my neighbor. And yeah, these are all in downtown Colorado Springs. Let's go inside. Everybody. Wow. The fuck are you guys doing? Maybe the... Oh, maybe they're the same person. Right? Sans Luke's apartments provide the finest budget ac accommodations in Colorado Springs. Okay, at least we have some apartments. That's nice.
so far it seemed like there are people who live in uh, crappy shacks or maybe naked and there are people who live in big ass mansions and complain about it the big ass mansions alone and complain about it Rosie Wong is waiting for you when you enter, smoking a cigarette. She smiles when she sees you. Her teeth are color of caramel corn. I can't believe you came. Those goddamn marshals never come. They think I'm a pest. <laughs> I'm vigilant, is what I am. V I G I got it. A N T. Anyhow, I hope you're ready for trouble, Rangers, because I got a situation here. Oh, come on, Rosie. I always came when you called, didn't I? You're with the Rangers now, Quan? Well, you were one of the better ones. I'm glad you're out of that martial racket. What's the problem? <laughs> They're with the marshals. and paid for. Sure as hell never help ordinary citizens, let me tell you. Unless you pay them extra. But I never pay anybody until they earn it. That's fair enough. Why do the mar marshals don't like you? Because I ask them to do their job. They hate that, the lazy, fat-ass carbuncles. If they never did a lick of work in their lives, it would be too much for them. Ugh. Yeah, I did find it pretty weird that the police station was full of cops. And, I mean, okay, f fair enough, you can have some cops in the police station, but still. It's full of cops, and they're like, Oh, I, I can't help that with, like, a abduction case or, like, a straight-up hostage situation. I gotta do some reports. The fuck? The only cops that actually showed up are the ones that tried to kill me. What seems to be the trouble? The guy in room three. Irv. He's not supposed to have anybody else living there, but I hear voices in there all the time. They're always banging on stuff, and I can smell burning and bleach, and I don't know what else. Make him stop it or throw him out. Either one is fine with me. Have you looked inside his room? I can't. The shifty bastard's put his own locks on the door. That's how I know he's up to no good. Apartment room three. End of the long hallway. The door's on the right. I know he's up to something. I just know it. <sighs> okay, Rosie. We got it. We're gonna check it out. First, we're gonna check out her room. <laughs> I mean, we gotta be feral, right? I mean, we gotta be damn feral. Uh, we're gonna take this into evidence. Found some evidence already. Doing a good job. Do you really use a generator just to go into the back room? Cyborg chicken? Hey, come with us if you want to live. Goodbye. The fuck? Oh, skill points. I wanna take the cyborg chicken. Would take Animal Whisperer free to do it. Also makes the animal companion tougher. I think going with Animal Whisperer free is pretty much a good choice. Coming with us. Wait. Wait. So this chicken gives no bonuses. We don't know about the stats of these animals. A base rifle. Shoot spikes. Deals pretty good damage. 
So we can give this to Quan. Grace 4. This uses 762, 556. Uh, this one uses spikes. We have some spikes. I mean, if it's a tough fight, then I guess we can use the top of Ace Rifle. Else, we're gonna use the Convincer. Maybe I have a better version of the Convincer too. Okay. So these are the assault rifles. Tommy gun uses forty five. Okay. So Thunder Animal. And Marshal Kwan has uh, at least four strength, which allows us to use our rat deck armor. I don't know about that. So it's listed from toughest to, to weakest. And we got some other pants we can use. And the Rat Deck Helmet. Which would give him 13 armor. But let's just not uh, show this because it looks a little dumb. Four. It requires free strength. Oh, actually, he has a penalty on it? Okay, fine. Then not wear it. Uh, that's not what I wanted. I wouldn't mind some uh, automatic uh, equipment of uh, new gear. In some games it's an option, but it's usually not. It's the same. I guess we can sell this for extra money. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, this, uh, I don't know, legendary gear is just more expensive. Oh, five. That's pretty good. We should probably sell the gear we have right now. Maybe, maybe uh, have a chat with the merchants. Oh, fuck off. Oh, come on, don't say that. Huh? Get the fuck out of my apartment. I mean, he has one big room, I, I suppose, kinda. But still, I would like uh, a kitchen. You know, something else than just a big room. What's going on here? So this is apartment three. Satoshi, the fuck? Oh, he's a synth. He's totally blue. And he likes computers. Fucking busted. We got this guy. Need space demons intercepted. Display rendered objects and assigned to translation vectors. This hooded figure peers at you, unblinking, and. Puffers a simple metal case. He seems to want you to take it. Really? I mean, this guy's a little weird. He's dressed in a white robe, plus he's blue. I mean, yeah, that's kind of a uh, that uh, takeaway. I mean, that giveaway. What are you offering us? Redundant variable detection grid populated by live stream data. Uh, that really cleared it up. Take it. Alert. Do not delete local references to object. If memory allocation is null, then unhandled exception occurs. It appears he's telling you not to open or discard the case or you'll face some kind of consequence. 
Drop custom C node ref counting in favor of pointers. This is apartment free, right? He's being weird, that's for sure. What are we gonna do with him? Are we supposed to open his case? I guess we can just save and open the case. Um. Where do we find his case? Ah, uh, there's got to be another menu. Wait, we don't even have the option. We have the option. Use item on self. Open the case. The case sounds a tiny beep as you start to pull the hatch, almost like an error alert on a computer. Continue. Circuit boards now drained of power. Several electronic items rest inside. You collect them and discard the case. Okay, so apparently it's it's something we should probably keep. It's not dangerous. Seems like it's not dangerous, but it is, there's nothing uh, to it right now. What about the fucking uh, android guy? Is he not an android? Come on, he's blue. Well, I had to do it. We had to know what's inside. And apparently it's it's a case that I should hold on to. Yeah, right, let's check out the other apartments. Oh, that's apartment free. That that was that was not even the Okay, fool. Really? This was not the weird guy? Sure. Apartment 5. Two double beds. A booze box. Okay. I can't say I have a booze box. What's in here? Oh, a toaster. Argon lance? Heavy machine gun. Requires five big guns. Deals pretty good damage, but also costs all of it energy. And uh, penetration is probably just good. I don't see the penetration value. Yeah, it's 99. It's excellent. What? This is apartment 5? Don't run it. Jesus Christ. I wanted to not run into the fucking tripwire. What the fuck is going on here? Apparently he has a bunch of clones. Can can we just disable the tripwire? I wonder if there's a way to uh, have a talk with him? Because it seems like an interesting uh, talking situation. Did he just clone himself? It seemed like it was the same guy. That's one way to get things done. Okay. 
Okay, we... Before we were about to enter... Requires sneaky shit 4. Ah. Oh. Is there a way to gain bonus to sneaky shit? I know we can use a usable item to boost our sneaky shit. Before. Okay, so it definitely has a, a purpose. Oh my god. We have a book we can use. Okay, utility. But why there is no utility menu? Sucks. Pretty good chance of 3%. Hard ass of 1. That doesn't matter. I don't really care about hard ass. I guess we're gonna use... Increase lockpicking by one. Wait. Increase the sneaky shit. I'm kind of curious how this works. Is it a bonus or is it like it just spent two points on it? Okay, and you just read it. So his sneaky ship went up, went up by one, which actually gives us enough to deal with the alarm. Thank you so much. You have been the most gracious of hosts. We have three Earth clones here. None of them are real, apparently. Let's go back. The light machine gun would shoot at me, right? This is not the time. Let's get back to the mission, Ranger. What if I start shooting here? Would it not work? Yeah, this is blocking our line of sight. No one must ever tell them. I guess we can have the snipers there. No one must ever tell them. The square of the hippopotamus is three times the length of its eye. Marshal, oh, no, fuck. No, don't do that. Oh, man. Will I keep moving? I am a human just like you. <laughs> so we can do a sneaky shit at shit attack oh okay we need to reload Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Nitro burning funny is that a problem the world is ours, Josephine. no others are fine Twaiters, all of you. let's go for an attack on the light machine gun the world, ma. oh, wait Oh, we can do a precision strike. Like what? Go berserk and attack its allies. Oh, we got a lucky action. Maybe we can use thunder.
Okay, that's two action points. No, don't run in. Okay, he does have a lot of HP. Let's see if we can, what we can do. Hicks can't do much. Sure. Not a lot of armor. I don't like the risky shot. Terrible hit chance. Wait. Oh, it's it's bad. <laughs> My hit chance is not that good. enough AP. What about the snipers? Okay. Apparently these guys are damn tough. Bruce hit chance. That would be nice. Apparently, from there, we can still take a shot. Private Jody Bell. Let's just crouch down. And take a shot. What? Why even bother? <laughs> With the other characters. Okay. Shrink grenade. Ooh! I didn't realize that the animal companions die so easily. The fuck is going on here? We just deal less damage for two turns. I guess that's fine. And we can also hit friendlies, I suppose. Go for an attack. 30 HP. Let's use the better gun. A headshot. We can inflict bleeding and reduce speed. Maybe bleeding is better, I don't know. I just deal extra damage. I don't know if I wanna do a flamethrower attack. Mm, I'll just wait. Oh, look at that! But that was three action points to heal. A 
strong rabbit. This actually makes melee characters even worse, because they will be struggling to get close. Out of range. This was definitely suspicious. My chicken! What? Okay. Pulse gun? Alright. So, energy weapons are really good, but they should use, be used sparingly. A bram. Generator. For the turret. Wow, we disabled the device. Skill points of three. Skill points of one. The readouts and graphics have a flatline now that the clones are dead. Given specialized knowledge and the right resources, it might be possible to make more. On the desk, you find the chaotic mass of an ancient dot matrix uh, print routes, uh, scientific journals, and dog urn eared books. Notes are scrawled upon them in a wild, childish hand. A computer awaits a button press. Stop away. Save. <laughs> then press the button. The computer instantly returns with a uh, bold, uh, blinking text. No subject found on primary secondary sensors. Could I clone my guys? Begin the experiment. The computer pauses a moment at, uh, as the display relays information about a uh, sensor, then returns subject absent from secondary sensor. Oh, about this. What what would happen here? <laughs> The computer analyzes both sensors as large volumes of data fill the screen as a small thermal printers begin to spew out uh, reams of information laid in paper. The text is thick with uh, mind-numbing scientific jargon, charts, graphs, cryptic, electrical and uh, anatomical diagrams and some printouts reference uh, books and notes on the table. Cloning in our time, dream or re reality, robotics, uh, cybernetics and cloning, the future is now, cloning, theory and practice, life everlasting, business uh, prosperous and new you. Professor Irvin uh, John Finster, PhD. Every ranger knows the name of Irvin uh, John Finster, the di director of the infamous uh, Project Darwin and an old enemy of the Desert Rangers. Rosie's tenant, Irv, has some explaining to do. 
Did something happen? Okay. So I should probably have it the other way around. Do you want to give the crit chance to the sniper? And we can remove uh, the penalty with an antidote. Seems good enough. It's especially good on a sniper because uh, we may not need to use a doctor bag on a sniper. Okay, let's make a switch. No glow or doctor NPC. Okay. And we can use an antidote to remove the evasion penalty, right? Equip. Use it use item on self. Yeah. Okay. This was definitely weird. Not much we can do with that. Alright, let's just leave. We're given a strange briefcase. Isn't that about the android? This guy looked like an android. Satoshi. Aren't you an android? I'm sure transactions in mempool always have unique keys. Am I supposed to just attack Satoshi? What if I did this? What are you doing? The occupants of Colorado Springs are under our protection. That was just um <laughs> Okay. Never mind that. So Frank doesn't like me. Rosie, uh, problem solved. So, what'd you find in apartment? Was he making bombs, like I said? Uh, he wasn't there, and it's weirder than that. Weirder how? <laughs> Your tenant may be associated with a dangerous scientist. He also has a cloning machine, and we killed several c copies of him. Yeah, you were right. That's weirder than making bombs. Can I at least go in and clean up? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, it's not safe in there. Please stay out until we find him. Oh, his security deposit's not gonna cover the repairs, is it? If he wasn't in his apartment, then he's probably at the bookshop in Market Square. Look for a skinny guy, always wearing a lab coat. Let me know what happens. Really? We know about that guy. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Who we have here? That's a special name, Cat? Cat Mundu? There are a lot of cats here. Drug stash? Fucking hell! You have enough cats, lady? Can be. Oh my god. Who has an animal here? You have. One? I think she lost her animal. Oh my god, this is bad. Hmm. 
Major Thromcat. Lucia has the rabbit. Right? Who is the rabbit? Professor Higgs? Oh, Professor Higgs has the rabbit. And Animal has no animal companions right now. Katmandu, join me! It's your destiny! What? Oh, we already have a cat following the party? Oh my fucking god. Let me just get rid of the cat and get Katmandu instead. Um... Oh. Major Tomcat doesn't count as a cat. Marshall Kwan. Can we just send away this cat? Okay, we're sending away one cat. Fuck, where's the special cat? Cat Mandu, come over here! You have to join me! Fuck. Okay. So I suppose we can't get a cat now. Because we already have a cat. Or certainly the same limitation doesn't apply to Rosie Wonk. She has way too many cats. What the fuck? How do you have more cats? I can't do it. So we leave. We still don't know where the synth is. We don't have a mission back at home, as far as I know. We can leave the town, but I wanna find the scene first. Also... Yeah, we will need someone in the garage. It sounds... it kinda sounds like we have to leave town. But first we gotta find the scientist guy in the market square, kind of. Then... And also we are looking for the synth. I'm pretty sure I know who that who that guy is. Where is the synth in the mic market square? We already have a dog, right? We can get another dog. We can get another rabbit. We, we can get a, a rabbit. Using your own genetic material to make a new human. Oh, you mean fucking. Yes, I've got plenty of books about fucking. What? No! No, not fucking! Cloning! It's how you make new humans without sex. Jesus. Why would anyone want to do that? <laughs> oh my god, can this guy join me? A tall and lanky man is uh, looking over the books on a merchant stand, muttering nervously to, to himself. Hi, mind if I ask you some questions? Um, I guess. Wh who are you? We are des Desert Rangers. We have been helping out uh, around Colorado Springs. Is your name Irv? I... I... I'm Irv. Wh what do you want? We've been to your room. We were attacked in your apartment by a few guys who look just like you. Any explanation for that? Oh no. Did you kill them? Yep. I'm afraid we had to. Oh, poor clones. They... They never really acted right. I, I, I screwed up the formula somehow. Tell us more about these clones. Well, well, 
I, I guess I'm kind of afraid to make friends the normal way, so I made them an abnormal way. Only, I didn't do it very well. The, when they came out of the chamber, there was something wrong with them. They were really, really stupid and, and really, really crazy. And they, they just got crazier day by day. They were really, really stupid and really, really crazy. And you cloned yourself? Hmm. If, if I hadn't run out of the apartment today, they would have killed me. I'm a bad father. I'm a bad, bad father. Join us! We found some papers in your apartment written by Irvin John Finster. Is that your real name? I... Uh... Please don't tell the marshals, but I'm one of his clones. Unfortunately, I'm fourth generation, at least. So, I'm not as smart as the original. Smart enough to, to use Dr. Finster's notes to get the cloning machine working again, but... Well... But not smart enough to make good quality clones. I can't even make one as good as myself. And I'm not that good. Bits of me don't work very well at all. What do you know about uh, Dr. Finster? Oh, Dr. Finster was a genius. He's the only person in the world to have mastered the cloning of humans. He, he may have become a little paranoid at the end, but that doesn't lessen any of the good he gave to the world. Until he decided all humans had to die. He was a real humanitarian. Is he alive? The original? No. N not anymore, but I guess, in a way, as long as I'm alive, he is too, because I'm him, aren't I? Or, I mean, I'm him, but not the part of him that wanted to wipe out the entire human race. Right? Yeah? I, I wasn't... I wasn't suggesting, you know, the whole nature versus nurture debate, how some things are genetic and some things you learn. Well, that killing everybody part of him, that was nurture. He, he wasn't born that way. And 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 uh, and neither am I. I swear you believe me, don't you? Do you believe you're not smart enough to threaten the human race? <laughs> it's true. I'm not. I'm totally not. So, you're not gonna arrest me? You gotta join us at the Ranger HQ. We are not, in fact. If you bring your clothing machine, you're welcome at the Ranger headquarters. We could use a scientist like you. You're gonna let me be a real scientist? This is the best! Uh, I'm so grateful! I'll do good work for you. I promise. No more clothes of you. Thank you so much. Wow. Oh, does the bookseller guy? All the classics. I kind of wanted to buy skill books. I guess that's not an option. Hey, chums! Welcome to Taiwan Jones's Emporium. My store has every fit sardine leaf. Okay, what are you selling? Seems like her stock didn't get any better. Or did it? Perkill model 85. This is okay. Maybe I'm... Maybe it was uh, an option even before. And I just haven't seen it. I think I think her stock got a little better. But not significantly. Savage legs. Doesn't seem like I have to bite much. Hi, y'all! Name's that snapping Jimmy Bob. Oh, that's not that much to tell. Let's. These are pretty marginal. Okay. Maybe I'll join the marshals. I do like rubbing people up. You get drummed out in a second, you crack pot. I'm sure they could use my traveling busker. Howdy. Step away. 
We're looking for a robot. Hey, do you know about robots? Uh, hello again. Here to learn more about the Colorado Springs no. wall. Believe me, I understand. Back to the wall. Oh, you want to talk to mama? She's the Do one I have a reason to talk to mama? No. We got a cat. She's smart enough to know that. Anyway, Jimmy Long call. What can I do for you? The bet nice came home in the end, though. Well, while other and when we came back, anything for your vehicle. Have a look. I don't know if I want this. Mechanics? Wait. Oh, is this? But this truck's dead as good manners. Fuck is this? Let's buy it. That's probably a equipable item, right? It's not a usable item. Okay, these are armor mods. Wow. It also goes into the first aid category, but this boosts up my mechanics by two. This actually, uh, yeah, allows me to only go for, wait a second, what's going on here? Three, four, five, six. Is it really three points? We'll look into it. Out of dead robots. I hear a butt in there somewhere. You heard right. So how am I supposed to find this robot? I guess the radio static is supposed to help with it. Is it possible that he's in a casino? I'm pretty sure he was an animatronic. Unless he's one of the, the cops. Static and faint modem noises. Communication sounds. With the families behind them, so went to war and fought. And yet, your radio is picking up weird noise from this spot. Just the sort of digital transmissions that should be coming from Ascent, according to Gary Wolf. Use your radio to create uh, feedback on the synth's broadcast frequency, which should be shoots down the synth. With a few tweaks, your radio emits a strange oscillating screech. As it grows louder, something at the base of the synth's uh, neck pops. I swivel to meet yours, but it can't move any other part of its body. What did you do to me? L let me go! It's a child's voice. Easy now, don't be hasty. Why don't we talk? I think people would be tempted to just leave the synth alive. But that guy who hunts synths probably... ...knows better. Okay, let's just talk. We are, have it outnumbered quite a bit. Tourmaline... Tourmaline says we shouldn't talk to humans, but... ...but I don't want to die. What, why are you like a grown man, looking like a grown man and doing a, a girl voice? Of course you don't, so let's just take it easy. Can we ask you some questions? I, I guess. What do you want to know? About you? I don't even know much about me. I haven't been alive for long. Really? 
Who are you? My name's October 11. I'm from Arizona. At least, that's where we started. Why are you called October 11? It's... It's the first thing I said. That's what Tourmaline told me. I woke up and I said it. October 11. It's like your birthday. I know it's important because it's always in my head. But I can't remember why. Why do you sound like a kid? Tourmaline says I was made to trick humans, but I got put in the wrong body. I should be in a little body. Then no one could guess what I was. I could be safe. <laughs> well, that that is a pretty bad voice, though. Who put you in that body? Another synth, I think. I don't remember. The first thing I remember is waking up with Tourmaline in a house. We were hiding. Tourmaline says we were together for a while before that, but that's as far back as I know. Let's talk about something else. How you got to Colorado? We fled across the mountains from Arizona. It was just Tourmaline and me, but we picked up signals from from others like us. We thought maybe we'd find a safe place. Who's Tourmaline? My protector. Another synth like me. We got separated and I'm on my own now. I'm glad I didn't kill her or it. We're getting some good intel. We heard you and Tourmaline killed some people, is that true? Tourmaline called it preemptively defending ourselves. All humans want to kill synths, so we've got to kill them first. It's a matter of survival. I don't want to be turned off. How did you end up in this museum? Some human hunters came for us and we ran. There was a fight and I... I lost Tourmaline. I couldn't go back. They were chasing me. So I hid here. Okay. You can't stay here forever. What do you intend to do now? All I want to do is get out of here and find some place better to hide. Somewhere far away from this city. Will you let me go? Where's Tourmaline? I won't! You'll kill him if I do! Anyway, I'm not really sure where he went. Are you going to kill more people? If they find me, I'll have to kill them. If humans know where I am, they'll hunt me down and turn me off. Okay, we let you go. Your best bet is to dress up like a refugee and sneak out of town. Just don't open your mouth. We can't let you go, but we won't kill you either. You're under arrest. <laughs> We can't let let her it go. No! Never let them take you! That's what Tourmaline says. I'll break out before you can put your fingers in my brain. I'll kill everyone else there. You've got two choices. Let me go or kill me. It does seem like this synth is sentient, in a way, and cares about not dying. At least you can argue that it's programmed that way, although maybe not perfectly human. I suppose a big question would be, look at that <laughs> cat sliding in the distance. Is that... Uh, does it matter how people, you know, if 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 it's instinct or feelings or, or it's programming? If you can't tell the difference? Because technically we are, we are just programming too, right? We have some instincts and, you know, feelings, but, you know, everything else is just programming. We'll let you go. Your best bet is to dress up like a refugee and sneak out of town. Just don't open your mouth. She was very honest. But I can't let her go. And she refused that.
It's not gonna work. This is the best she can do. Hide here. And if she gets uh, discovered, then she will murder people. Or not preemptively even murder people. I'm sorry, you have to go. Am I supposed to just destroy animatronics? Why? Okay, what's next? Travel to the bazaar and confront the human smugglers. Okay, so that's not in the city. Why do I have to go back? Okay. Okay, so, we go back to the Lux Apartments, tell Wong what happened, and then go back to Ranger HQ, where we simply deliver the synth head. I was giving that synth an out. Join me, right? I'll keep an eye on you. And take you out if I have to. I was taking a, I was taking a, a chance. But, damn. Rosie Vong. Any word on the loony and number three yet, Rangers? We found Irv. He won't be coming back. You can clear out his room now. About time. It's gonna take me a week to clean up that mess. What was his deal anyway? He's a clone. He's a, he was afraid of being found and arrested, so he hid in his room and made other clones of for friends. Oh, that's kinda sad. What did you do with him? We invited him to join us at Ranger HQ. He's going to work for us in the medical lab. That. I'm glad to hear it. Never wished the poor man ill, just didn't want him here. That's very nice. Thank you, Rangers. Here's a little something for taking care of the problem and tying it up in a pretty bow. So long. Oh, my sciatica. Be seeing you, Rosie. What did we get? I like Rosie. Rosie's probably not that crazy as the well doesn't seem like Rosie's crazy at all as uh as the sheriffs uh made him sound like she just deals with a lot of people and uh it's uh unavoidable that she runs into a few crazies or weirdos <laughs> What would I do if I was in the Sin's shoes? Let's just say... Everyone just wanted me dead. Wrongfully. Let's just say they were scared or whatever. It doesn't matter. They wanted me dead. I suppose. But I still wouldn't just start murdering people. 
I might do it out of self-defense. <laughs> but not preemptively. But I suppose, eventually, I might just get so used to murdering. Well, that would be like one hell of a character arc for me. Could you get just so used to murdering that defensively that you just start murdering indiscriminately? Maybe not indiscriminately, but like, you know, you just don't want to give chances anymore. But why even come into town? What's the what's the point behind that? Seems like an insane gamble. Of what? The the scene doesn't even need food. Maybe electricity, but it seems like a death sentence. You get killed, you gotta kill other people, and the scene just seemingly didn't even care about hurting other people. I was more interested in uh, staying free, kind of, even though you, it, the sin didn't have freedom. And that, that synth probably had like a, a child's intelligence as well, just to uh, make it more believable. That's not too surprising. Because if you had like a, a, a child with like a computer's intelligence, then it's just not gonna sell, right? The child is just too too smart. It just people would find out. Oh we got a fox. Can we uh can we get the fox? Cat Where the fuck is the fox now? I got some rabbits over there. Okay, we can't reach the rabbits. Rangers. Keeping the refugees here is just temporary. Stay sharp. Private Dean? Stay sharp. Stay sharp. Okay, I'm staying sharp. Okay, what's up with that computer? Examine the most recent activity logs. Most of the logs appear to have uh, been destroyed in a giant server viper that occurred decades ago. The terminal also has controls for some nearby vehicle lifts, but currently indicates they are all unresponsive. That's the boy. Oh, okay. We have the armory. Nightclub pit boss. I'm Joey Baggett. And Mr. Brigo sent me down, you know, as thanks for helping him out. Apparently, I'm supposed to be your new armory guy. That's good. You know, I know my way around this stuff. How do you get this gig anyway? Well, you know, though he is an honest businessman and an upstanding citizen, Mr. Brigo has more than his share of uh, enemies. Which means that he ne So, he had been doing business with me, a simple freelance gunsmith. But he got tired of waiting for me to finish up work for other clients. Since then, I've been a made man and do whatever Mr. Brigo wants. Nah, it's my favorite subject. I'm the son of a son of a son of a gunmaker. Whenever anybody's plucked anybody else in Vegas for the last hundred years, we got to start. Show you. All right. Wait, what? Just stop. Seems pretty bad. You have less. Than the guy in town. Scout rifle. One time use RPG. Uh, that jackknife looks pretty decent. Laser shotgun.
Yeah, that's all he has. A lot of grenades. Alright, let's leave. Yep. Can I steal from my own armory guy? Not great. I'll just leave. Oh, Irv is here. Hi, Rangers. Thanks again for letting me work for you. This is so exciting. Are you enjoying the work? I... I am so happy. I'm learning so much. All my life I wanted to be a scientist. But all I could do was read the books and dream. And now I can actually do things. Well, I, I think he did. Quite it's a lot incredible. of things before. What do you think of Doc Parker? He's wonderful. He's almost as smart as Dr. Finster, but without <laughs> all the, um, you know, evil. What are you working on? Uh, boomerang bullets. They come back when they're done killing things. Can you clone one of us? What? Is that a good idea? Why not? Uh, yes. Theoretically, I can have the machine take your genetic material and run the process uh, but um no guarantee what comes out the other end i did make a few tweaks to the process though so whatever it is it probably won't be so angry probably never mind that's probably a good idea thank you rangers Give me try Save my life i'm sorry to hear you killed that synth what uh I can have the... I did make a few... You're seriously gonna go through with this? Wow. Okay, well, how exciting. Uh, but before we start, one tiny caveat. The process requires special genetic material, and I've only got enough for one clone. So, if anything happens to our new friend, try to recover its remains so we can reuse them. Now, put your palm on the machine right here. Placing your palm on the pad... Of Earth's machine, you feel a small pinprick. Earth shows you a pink, uh, pulsating pineapple sized glob of goo, then it tosses it in uh, to a hatch on the side of the machine. The machine whirs and rattles for a few minutes before a sound makes its way, similar to air gurgling out of a putting filled balloon. The chamber shudders and the room rings with a vet slapping noise. With an ear-ringing squelch, a high-pressurized jet of goo fires out a crack of a uh, crack in the chassis. The chamber shudders and the room brings with a vet slapping noise. With an ear-ringing squelch, a high-pressurized jet of goo fires out a crack in the chassis. chassis. Finally, the doors slide open and a gush of full-smelling purple fluid pours out, followed by a gray-skinned, hairless, and mucus-covered clone. Wab, wab, wab. Yeah, that's me. Hey, this one can talk. You are who you eat. Wait, are you gonna come with us? What the fuck? Can anybody hear me? Rest in peace. Welcome aboard, clone. Can you wear some pants? Oh, it, it came out with underwear. How, how uh, considerate. Oh fuck, we can't do that. The doors, the door guarding this vault is enormous and recessed into the walls, floors and ceiling. It appears that it can only be opened with a, that numeric keypad on the wall, several feet away. Enter key code at random, step away from the vault. We can't really RNG the key, right? We're just gonna be locked out. Okay, we can return the Sin's hat. To Wolf. Find that synth in Colorado Springs yet? Here it's head. Where's the bounty? Huh. No muss, no fuss. How about that? Alright then. Here's the cash. As prompt. 
Now, uh, one more thing. I was kind of afraid you'd be as pussy as the AZ Rangers, but it looks like you're serious. So I've got another proposal for you. We need a base of operations for our synth hunt, and it looks like you've got plenty of space. What do you say? Can we set up shop here? You don't seem to like the Rangers much. You sure you want to hang around? Ranger squad I ran with an AZ was a chicken outfit. Failed to utilize me properly. Paid the price for it. But you did okay here, so I'm giving you a chance. I'm not sure I want to hunt since indiscriminately. We can stay. Great. We'll find a corner and keep out of the way. And just to make the deal sweeter, how do you like to pick up a few more bounties? That sounds good. Well, if you have concerns about this guy, the only way we can keep an eye on him if he stays here. What are the bounties? Like I told you, since communicate with each other long distance. That means when I hack October 11's head, I'll be able to find its friends. Unfortunately, we're still on the trail of a pack of eastbound synths right now, so we can't stop and hunt for these. But it's got to be done, so I'll pay you to do it. Cash for each head. You want the job? Give us the locations. We'll get the synths. We'll see what we can do. You're not exactly filling me with confidence, but all right. Let me crack this egg. Wolf takes the head, expertly opens it, then fires it to a portable computer in his backpack and begins to poke and prod. After a few minutes, he nods and turns the screen toward you. It shows a map dotted with flickering lights. You see that light in the center? That's our current location. Actually, October 11's head. Those other lights around the middle one? Those are the other synths. Well, it looks real close to Denver. Anything you can tell us about it? Hmm. A lot of interference. Maybe near a radio tower. Maybe two. Lots of other smaller EM signals, too. Probably got a whole bunch of robots around to protect it. Isn't it possible for the robots to turn off these uh, radios? How about the one that's a little further out from Denver? There's some wobble in the location signal, which means it's bouncing off the mountains from the foothills. That flickering means there's interference, so it's probably underground. Maybe it's coming from some kind of bunker or mine. Or maybe a nuclear silo inside a dormant volcano. <laughs> like some kind of supervillain. There's one in the Aspen area that keeps uh, flickering. Signal's imprecise. Bouncing around. Maybe in the mountains. You're just fucking guessing, mate. You know nothing. Great. Just give me that, computer. The sooner you end them, the sooner you get paid. Well, wow, that's great. Let's see what we have. Okay, that's not gonna help. Undone Nellius Dorsey. This is completed. Yeah, we have to leave. A Brig Jailer. Med Bay Doctor, we have that. We have a Brig Jailer. We have an Armory Quartermaster. And we don't have a Garage Mechanics. But if we complete this... I think we will have one. Yeah. HQ Garage Mechanics. So we have to leave to complete the full house guest. And there's nothing else we have. I do have a, a level up for the team. I guess we can go for awareness. That's always good. I care a lot about hit chance. Let's confirm. I'm not sure about skills. If anything, I, I kind of like to hold down to skill points till I need them. I guess we're gonna max intelligence here. That actually gives him more skill points. Let's confirm. Not sure about the perks again. We're just maxing awareness.
Oh. Mm, let's try to max awareness. And here we're gonna try to max intelligence. And we're not spending any other points. We can spend it later. What the fuck? What is this team? Six uh, mercenaries, I'm mean, like, rangers, plus a rabbit, plus a cat, plus another cat, plus a fucking naked clone. Okay. A blue clone with uh, an underwear. Plus a dog. Okay. <laughs> I was about to get a fox too. Oh yeah, we got a, a cyber chicken here, right? Can we get the cyber chicken? Um. You have a pet. Wait. Is that... Is that your pet? Oh, I, I don't think we can uh, get this chicken. And we already have a dog. So I suppose it's time for us to actually leave. This town. Downtown Colorado Springs. It seems like I was pretty thorough. I don't think I've missed anything. <laughs> maybe, maybe I did. Also, I haven't bought anything. Well, I, I did buy a little bit, but... Oh, never mind. <sighs> I like this base building aspect of the game. And uh, the skills are pretty good. Instead of like chance based, it's it's fixed. So they made really good design decisions in this game. Actually quite surprising because most games just try to... I found Wasteland 2 to have a lot of outdated uh, mechanics. I mean, it was it was old school and I, I guess they tried to go for the old school feeling without needlessly like changing things that kind of kind of worked in the past. But like now, now they just, you know, like, okay, like we tried it and it, it was okay. But we can do better. And I really appreciate that they did. Because, like, chance based skills were pretty annoying. So, we have to go to the Kodiak to leave the town. And there's nothing else to do. I'm pretty sure this is where we leave. Level ups for everybody. <sighs> okay. Let me just click on it. Travel to Colorado. I'm kind of curious to see. Because so far we didn't even have the well, I, I I had the choice to had the chance to use the car uh, at the very start of the game, and I spent like over ten hours in uh, downtown uh, Colorado, which is great. Fuck yeah, I love this. <laughs> Oh, okay, we got a car. World map intro. <coughs> the world map allows you to travel with uh, Colorado in your trusty Kodiak. As you explore, you'll find cities and settlements in need of your help, as well as experience random encounters that may bring fortune, trade, danger, or all three at once. 
you get a tip on a new location. Uh, when you hear about a new place to explore, it'll be marked on your map. Scream with a star. It'll be up to you to find a safe place there. Okay. If you get stuck out in the snow, you can call Gonzalez for a uh, tow uh, by left-clicking on the radio on the top left of the screen by pressing uh, or by pressing uh, Ash. I can't... Uh, wait. I cannot... There's no... No way to turn the camera here. Can I save? We save. We can go to Aspen. Alright! This is a good time to take a break.